Important place for Devil Strand. It all is. Devil Strand and Thrombofur are the only things I'm interested in making materials out of or apparel out of. Uh, Devil Strand has very good armor 140, 36, 300. Thrombofur is considerably better 208, 36, 150. Thrombofur is better, it's also a whole lot rarer. I'll miss Jingo, who's my firstborn son. I'll mourn his loss. His mother was Live Ash, his father Flag Flare, sister Plo, grandfather, fan of gaming. Fan of gaming still alive on the map? Well, they're around at least. They're over in the Traeria Confederation. That's cute. Aunt Rakuso and nephew Finboy. Many family members to mourn your lossing. Oh, we saved the, the... Oh, no, we didn't save them. They are... They are, they are dying a horrible, horrible Bernie-related death. How you feeling, John? I know you're a champ, but you need that burn tended to or else it's going to scar. Fortunately, Voomer... Nah, everyone's doing alright out of that. Whew, what a bloody, bloody fight. The rain washing away the proof, the bloody proof of our uh, our fight. Ah, good, good that they'll go and haul that. I mean, you could save Element. 18-year-old medical assistant. Sanguine, tough, body modder. Well, these are some promising things to bring you on board, but... Uh... Ah, I have enough people saved. I don't need to save more. Trera, Trera, Trera. Fallen, Fallen. Fallen. Three Fallens are about 40. Yeah, there's no need to save her. Sorry, Lassie. You gotta die out here. Well, I'm not really that sorry. If I was sorry, I wouldn't have uh, let her go and die. Alright, now I can re remake my doors around here. Doctor's apparently having a little nap out there. There we go. We managed to save our relations with Triera by heart. Here's bread, thanks to that person gandering their way out of the place. I think I might have some tips for Jake to help with that at this point. Tips for what exactly? Already up to her elbows and guts and burns. What's one more? Th thinks Boomer. Uh... Catatonic state, poor mood. Nikitas has given up! Alright, get out of here, we don't care about you. I've got animals that actually contributed to the colony to look after here. Boomer, I know you want to tend to these people, but, uh, oh cripes, all the medicine is. Where even is the medicine? I think I'm out of um, out of meds for the animals. How banged up are they still? Rather. Sorry, it's just going to be pressing them with our bare hands for a bit. I don't think I'd chew through this much medicine. Uh, but please tend to John and Lona. Those burns I don't want scarring. Nikita is stealing your organs. Okay, I was worried that he was actually carrying some of our stuff, but he is not. No big deal. Okay. There we go, that's the... Yeah, that's the Devil Strand largely removed from here. Not enough, but largely. There's a bit more to come, but we can deal with that. Lona, how are you feeling? Those burns are nothing. Up you get. Uh, oh, snap, I now need to rescue the animals that suddenly wanted to go and come along with you because I temporarily drafted you. Just Linus and Seathor, though, I'm sure they'll be fine. And John, you're good to get up and on the go. That's some very good tending on your burnt head, you should be fine for it. And health, this place is filthy, please clean it up. A lot of camel hide. Sure there's something I can do with it. 
Scout is infected, they've given up. Catatonic, blah blah blah. Alright, I know it looks grim. Oh, but uh, for when times look grim, some dromedaries decide to join in. Get some chocolate in as well. It's okay. It's okay. I know things have been grim, but we've held on. And hey, we've got our trophies here. I forget why I put these cloth hampers here. I must have had a good reason for it. I think it was for... Oh, I remember. It's for apparel down the line. Don't need to worry about it just yet. And the last thing I need right now is more dromedary meat. When in doubt, I can sell, uh, send drugs to my allies or would-be allies. I bet the toy treaty would appreciate getting some drugs. The thing is, drugs can be used for trade, so I'm not totally keen on doing that. Speaking of trade, let's get a few traders in here. Get all of them in. I can gift them flake to, to make them see things our way. Trade caravan, exotics. Trade caravan, exotics. Trade caravan, shaman. Trade caravan, shaman. Now hopefully we don't get the natural reduction in relations between now and then. And then I can just gift them something to make them happier with us. This is divine punishment for skipping blood Christmas. We didn't skip it, we had blood Christmas. It was boring, but we had it. You know, health just has not been planting things at all lately. This is set to sewing, right? And the temperature is fine because we eliminated the temperature disruptor thing. He just isn't doing any sewing. Health is on growing and cutting when he's not doctoring. Evans knows there's plenty to be done. Some of these animals are still bleeding, unfortunately. And not being particularly well tended to by anybody. Sorry, as long as they can sleep, they'll do better. Anna needs rescue. <laughs> Meowzilla, could you rescue Anna? Also, while you're at it, could you maybe rescue Seator and um, Linus before you rescue Anna, of course? These animals have done a lot for us. What's Anna done for us? Just moped. Yeah, to health's credit, there's been a lot of doctoring to be done. go just keep them there catatonic breakdown is that a real thing do people get so stressed out that they collapse I can believe it I want to start making a lot of clothes Meowzilla is gonna have a lot of work ahead of him and whilst there's always a lot of hauling to be done Orlov I actually want you to clean this place up it's a bit of a bit of a sty. I don't know if there's a specific word for the kind of styes that elephants live in, but it's it's one of those. And once all the elephants are healed up, I'm probably going to start. Um, well, I'd like to just let them go out here, but they they tend to hang around until they die for some reason. Ooh, right, these chunks are still on hauling duty. Oh well, let Orlov do what Orlov does. I believe it's called the Outdoors. Uh, okay, there may have been quests, but we've had our hands full lately. Thanks, Randy. I'm not doing hospitality for any of these nasty buggers, though. Oh, well, I could have I could have brought them all in and had them fight and die for me, but they would demand uh, a throne available for them. I could have given up John's for the time being, but John deserves so much for everything he does for us. Even if he does scar, though, that Luciferium will take care of it. I need to keep that in mind. John can and will survive. Just turning off self ten so people don't accidentally do that to themselves. This place is only slightly dirty, so that's okay. All right. Have a good restful night, everybody. Let's hope we see a bright new day tomorrow. Also, Doctor, could you just... Did you just die out there? <sighs> Do 
just melee them to death, man. At least then you're less likely to miss. There we go. Actually, before you do all that, deconstruct that wall. It's kind of getting in the way. Ah, oh, feels nice to be walled in again. Conversely, it felt horrible not to be walled in. This is why I like supremacist mood buff for every executed raider, says Dad Gut. It is nice. It is certainly nice. These infections are not, but they're not on people we care about. They'll be fine, they'll get plenty of rest here, even if we give them crappy care. Well, for God's sake, if anywhere needs cleaning, it's the hospital. Elephant calf, three, extreme flu, that's fine, their immunity is keeping up with them. You sent to Voomer, Linus will get better. Only losing one elephant out of all of that was honestly a great result, but we've yet to really see the extent of the brain damage from that fight. Could have been a lot, we don't know yet. And again, brain damage is the only damage I care about on these animals. Even if their eyes get mangled or their hooves get shredded, it's only a tiny amount compared to the size and power of their body parts. But the brain is relatively delicate compared to the rest of them. And look at that, even just a single sh uh, gunshot from a crappy little turret is dealing almost a third of uh, consciousness damage to Kyra. And that affects moving and manipulation, so the ability to get into battle and uh, land your hits in battle. And because it reduces consciousness, they're more likely to die and or keel over in battle. It's all really bad for them. Not for Tartha, though. Tartha feels fine. Alright, so who, who is downed? Just Linus. In fact, Linus still needs tending to. What a chocolate lying around. Maybe I should keep a dedicated uh, meal track for chocolate. It's a good word, chocolate. Not a lot of space for it. I've kind of crammed this place full of stuff, but I could say put it here and just call that the chocolate meal tray. Ask Meowzilla, make sure we are walled in. Thank you, Meowzilla. Of all the things to bring over here, rotting alpha beaver corpses, all because I set them to hunt. How do you feed that zoo? It takes a lot of hay. Fortunately, we have a lot of it, and we're continuing to grow more of it, but I have this place free for making more hay if the need arises. I'm just hoping it doesn't. Okay, doctoring includes feeding people who need... Uh, who need treatment, so that's slowing down health as well. Wishes people would just go away. Once Meowzilla is done fixing everything up, which does of course include having this place full of nothing but chocolate, then it'll be good to start making us fresh and better apparel out of all this stuff. One of the things I set out saying today, I wanted to sort out all the apparel for everybody, and I still will get on that. As soon as the situation allows, I have a lot of... Oh, okay. Well, this help that I've called in hasn't proved to be that much help. They also don't appear to be picking up and hauling things the way the pick up and haul mod makes them. Maybe that doesn't apply to people who are on temporary measures. You get a bit of the wall north of the corridor? Randy is taking the gloves off. Oh, you mean this part being walled up? Nah. Nah. Okay, they are they are doing pick up and haul the way I thought they might. Well, works for me. As long as the chocolate is there and the drugs are here. Really need these drugs made though, Jings. And the research has been slow. I want that flak armor sorted out too. 
Didn't Nyx used to be level 19 in medical? He's been skimping. Sorry, no, I didn't think there was much difference between 18 and 19. <sighs> We've got enough excess to smelt these things down, but they're not going anywhere, so I'll leave them be for now. What would you do without the animals, Jake? This could become a UN documentary. I uh, would be long dead without the animals, there's absolutely no question about that. Linus is still the only one that's still down. Did you take some terrible brain injury? Oh, you lost a kidney. Oh, they've only got two of those. I guess one now. Thankfully, though, they... Um, their brain didn't get injured. So Linus continues to fight the good fight for us. Is that agave you fed them? There we go. I don't want all these people wasting time by being fed, except for Linus, because Linus can uh, get up and do their own thing. Well, when they can get up and do their own thing, which I think will be consciousness 30%. Could feed them drugs to get them back up, but that's a waste of everyone's time. Oh, nice. Sora's fully healed. It's good to keep the thrombos in good condition. There we go. Linus can get up and move now, so I can remove all that. Now, hopefully my animals can just take a bit of time to relax now, instead of being thrown headlong into mech army. Because it really, really takes a toll on them. And it takes a toll on me mentally. I do, I do love these animals, and I hate to see them be so injured. Don't forget to bury Jingo, Jake, before the body rots. Uh, working on that, but Meowzilla is too busy repairing our walls and stuff. Once that is done, however, I'll have you remove these floors, and then we'll dig a grave and shove Jingo in there. Elephant Calf 3 is still in a medical emergency. Okay, no, they're fine. They'll, they'll develop immunity shortly. Ah, that's right, some music to soothe your soul, Voomer, and enjoy the beauty here. It's not beautiful enough in here, which I think calls for this other jade sculpture. Put it over here, put it over as far as I can so that everybody that works in the room can still see it. It's going to have to do there. There we go, Boomer gets back to work. Sheets just wandering around in sadness. Callus Smet at least is, work, is going around helping us out here. Time to dig another hole. Sadly, that's a construction task. But it's a very basic construction task. So go and just dig a hole, please, with your bare bloody hands. So slow compared to seeing Meowzilla do it. But I didn't want Meowzilla to waste his precious time digging a hole. There we go. Now you are only allowed to take an elephant corpse. And since you dug the hole, well, I'm not having these. I'm not having these strangers bury my elephants. Lona, you are really the carer of all the elephants, so you go and bury poor Jingo. You'll be missed, Jingo. And also I want these beds deconstructed for their marble. Just trying to free up space in here. And I got this... Mm, I can install you there. You're a good, a good chair. Comfortable enough. Rummage is through the storeroom. They should have some spare kidneys lying about. Maybe we could mash a couple of human ones together. <laughs> there are mods for all of your animal modding needs, but we don't in, we don't go for that. I'm tempted to smooth this out. If you smooth the wall, you can repair it. But nobody's tried to break this wall down, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. Ah. God knows how we managed to fit an elephant in one of these, but we do. 
You will be missed, Jingo. You will truly be missed. You're buried next to Rook, another brave elephant soldier. Ah, oh, they're not just soldiers, they're our friends. It would be nice if we also had weapons here. Every weapon which is bio-coded. Every weapon which is bio-coded. And then we can destroy weapons forever, as long as they are directly adjacent and strictly bio-coded. Oh, they don't do Doomsday rocket launchers. Well, I do. If I somehow get bio-coded ones over here, I want them smelted down. And that way I'll be able to clear some of this garbage out of, out of the way. Oh, this one's about to be destroyed anyway, but so be it. Otherwise they just keep cluttering the area. I'm actually going to be sending off a lot of our weapons soon, because they are clogging up everything here. That's more grenades and molotovs than any one man could truly need. So I'll come here, I will find the weapons. I mean, Cheng Steel. Eh, still Gladius is nice, but I prefer my Plasteel ones. I think that Silver Mace is there to be smelted down, so I'm surprised that it's not. But yeah, I don't need auto pistols, or this LMG, or assault rifle, or machine pistols. These should all just be turned into good favour with our friends, not the rocket launchers, I like those. The miniguns I'm unsure about, I like miniguns, but we have too many better weapons to allow ourselves to enjoy that. Also, they are slow things to wield. Let's get rid of them all. the frag grenades that are close to being destroyed as well. I like to keep some on me though. Same for having a little bit of mollies. There we go. <laughs> so one of, one of the workers here really did just get up and leave. Um, they won't quite be missed. Smelted or destroyed, Jake? Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa! Good call, good call, whoops. Smelt weapon. Forever in very, very short radius. Anything that is bio-coded. Good call, Jing's almost destroyed. Well, I think destroying is faster. Call me a janitor, it's got Orlov. I'm not opposed to getting another one though because it's getting a bit ridiculous, the sheer lack of hauling strength and, um, and cleaning strength that I have. Orlov's a janitor and I will consider getting another. I already had a smelt weapon thing. Yeah, but I was just doing that specifically for the hammer, I believe. Yeah, there it is, smart smelt war hammer. And I still do want to smelt it. Oh, I'd like to smelt that mace as well. I don't think I can tell it just to do with specific um specific materials that they're made of, but I want that silver. So smelt that and smelt the mace as well, please. Where is that silver hammer? Find the hammer. Uh, find the war hammer? Find the silver war hammer? Where is that silver hammer? Maybe somebody has it, but... Don't have an answer. Love the series, thanks for the content, says back in my game. Oh, you're very welcome. But I mean, it's doing it because I love this game. It's kind of taking over the channel. Some people that don't really like RimWorld are probably quite annoyed that it's here as much as it is. But that's very unfortunate for them. Poor Kyra. At least you make more elephants for me. Right, next, it's all well and good seeing you run around in this stuff, but please take it off. You have no need of wearing that stuff. Same could have been said for Dom5, Jake, back then, yeah. 
I played a lot of Dom 5, a heck of a lot of Dom 5, to the point where I don't feel the need to be playing anymore. Still fun to boot up every now and then, play a quickie, but that's about as far as I go with it. I need to store this camel hide somewhere. I got it because it's a good material for making certain kinds of clothes out of, but I think I might just make myself a small uh, drawer full of it and then can the rest of it. So another tall shelf made of wood again. This is getting way too clogged in here. What's a man to do? I didn't give myself enough space here. I could move the telly. I could move the telly, say... Hmm. Well, somewhere that everyone can see it from. Perhaps even here. And then I'll free the space up for... Um, for more places to store materials. That's probably a good idea, actually. Nick's get on that. And then I can build a couple more of these. Build one there and there. Just keeping all of the materials that they need for making clothes close by, and by they I mean Meowzilla will be getting on it. Meowzilla doesn't need to sleep. What I need them to do is just work forever. I'm a little confused as to what Meowzilla does. They don't appear to be making drugs for me. Which I thought would be on their to I bet this is told to be done by a specific person. No, it's not. It's just been told to not be done by Boomer. Hmm. So you could do it. Don't know what you've been doing all this time, but certainly something. Imagine having to work next to the big telly like that constant elbow pain. Boomer doesn't even get to see it. It's alright though, Voomer will someday figure out how we make flak vests, I'm looking forward to that. That's right, mozilla has been busy on the... Uh... Ooh, that needs to be a bit busier. A bit busy on the um, building work, as he should be. Nice job, Voomer. Working faster is exactly what I need out of you right now. And do I have any organs worth giving out? I've got that bionic stomach. Might be a good idea to give Nyx if he ever gets uh, another plaguey thing. Arcotech Eye. What is sight particularly good for apart from shooting and meleeing? Would it help Voomer? Voomer always wants to have more artificial parts. Four is fine, but I think five or six is ideal. Although most of them are in your brain. Maybe that's not what you expected when you went body modder, it all being stuck in your brain, but thinking about it, having a calculator and a notepad embedded in your brain sounds very useful. A non-intelligent microcomputer controlled by visual tactile neural interfaces since... no, right, wrong one. Learning assistant. Wait, that's not it at all. What am I thinking of? Whatever it is, I don't have it. There's one that's described as being like having a notepad and a calculator embedded in your brain. And I thought it was neurocalculator, but apparently not. Oh, there it is, like a calculator notepad embedded in the brain. That's what I get for not finishing reading. Sight is a calculation for researching. Yeah, but this is the last thing you'll be researching. I know I've said that before, but now I might mean it. Good to see health actually trying to plant some crops for us. We really don't need more psychoid at this point. Could we actually just have more heal root? That we definitely need more of. And I guess I can unsuspend the psychite tea for our certain little addict. Why is there corn here? Ah, the corn is here for the chem fuel operations, and corn barely goes off, so I don't mind keeping a bunch of it here. Still a bit more than I'd like, but no big deal. Right, you... You are here only for camel hide, and you are here for more devil strand, I guess, because it's still taking up all this space. It is. And soon it'll be time to actually make some good clothes for people. And Meowzilla, you will be the one making them. 
<laughs> sheet is no longer so sad. Good. Got an attack for sadness around here. Could you poss possibly move that body? I'll tell you to consume it. Then you'll move it out of the way, and just kidding, you're not consuming anything here. Medical tending is also sight affected. Mm. I thought the blood pumping would raise that consciousness up by a bit, but it's not. And I certainly want to give you a proper leg to up that movement of yours. Your right leg, of course. Get rid of that scar by giving you a whole new leg. But we don't have a leg for you. And the bionic spine doesn't help. There we go. Lona, lacking many things to do, is actually getting on with cooking up some psychic tea for us all. She's missing her nose. I'd like to get her that nose back, but not just yet. Also, Miazilla making flake is good, but I want a apparel made. I guess both are good. Otherwise, this this uh, these psychoid leaves aren't going anywhere. Actually, rather than making flake, could we make some yayo? Yayo is a pretty good combat drug. No, it's not time efficient. Forget about it. Say flake is better for selling. Is it time for John to fly to trade to the Empire for bionics? Ye has he got his side focus up? He does. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Can I send him out just to visit though, I wonder? Oh, we'll be finding out soon enough. If I loaded this up with John weighs quite a bit, must be able to gear on him, and John's worth a fair bit, which is nice. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's caravan mass, not mass mass. Um, so if I send John with all that flake, 608 flake, oh, we can do more than that. How about we launch, oh, this one's, this one's full of guns, right, that's the problem. But that means I can just change it to be this one, just send John with not a lot of guns, but instead a metric ton of flake. And he can trade the flake and come on back. Another bio leg, get me in and out of combat faster. Alright, alright. I forget how this works for the visiting thing. I feel like this is something I'm going to mess up quite badly. So let's start by loading it up with a whole bunch of flake. Can we actually just put all of it plus John? There was a problem with that though, wasn't there? Uh, oh. 1500 flake. We'll load that up, then we'll shove John in it and send out John to go and trade. John, how are you feeling? Perfectly fine, so you should be able to go out and trade, no problem. Tom looking at a transport pot on the mountain flake like drug Santa. Well, if I was the Imperium, I would just take John, take all of his stuff harvest the goodies out of him, but thankfully they are, uh, they look at things a little differently over there. Wait, can I even trade with them if I'm not allied? Yeah, of course you can. There we go, and I see Orlov full, fill it full of flake. On that note, I can actually take this flake thing and then put it outside. This is more where we're going to need flake. I'd rather this was the just preferred pace for flake, and these can be criticals, maybe over the top. Make it important for flake. Nah, make it critical for flake. Critical, preferred, and make sure this thing doesn't take any flake. That'll make it easier. In fact, I might prefer this thing doesn't take flake at all. Yeah, yeah, clear all that. Instead, copy these settings and put them over here. Reason being is that I have a lot of different drugs and perhaps a bit too many of them to just contain in one of these. 
Cover me in drugs, stuff me in a rocket, it'll be good for the economy, trust me. I thought it through, I'm a majestic space magician. He is, and John has saved our lives so often that I would hope nobody would question his uh, orders at all. Shame these laborers don't seem to be carrying their weight. See, Nix is the one piling this thing up with drugs. Oh, well, Gallus Met is helping out. What a name, Gallus Met. It took me a while to understand what I'm looking at at this television here, but that is a foot of the television, and that is also a foot, and this here is the screen. I thought it was like a top-down view of it, and it looked really chunky, but no. There was a lot of thought that went into that. Okay, John, get in there. And I'm going to save, because if I make an accident here, a misclick, I might send John away as a gift for people, or somehow this won't work the way expect, I expect, and I don't want that to happen. John's a big guy to lose to something like that. So I'm sending him here to Genoa to visit, not as a gift, and not as an attack. Wait, before I go there, do they actually accept Flake? I'm sure they do, but this is something worth checking before I waste our time and effort. Um, it would be a manufactured good. F for flake. They do. Okay. On you go, John, then. Enjoy your trip. Whee! Better make a spare one there. It does not look like a hand holding a gun, fish lips, and I maintain that one. I thought I showed people. I thought I showed it very clearly how it looked. All right, trade with Genoa. Looking to get rid of all this flake. Wow, they do not have a lot of silver. I hope they have goods for us. Uh, right, what do you have? Goats, alpacas, packaged meat, chem fuel. Nutrimane is always tempting. I like Nutramane. Let's take Nutramane. Um, Yayo's not worth it. Wake Up I like, but I found a bit of Wake Up. And I'm not looking to get some Wake Up Addicts. Mm, but it might be good for the the, um, the slaves and the, and Nyx, of course, to be on, uh, on Wake Up. The addiction chance is 2%, which is quite high. 1 in 50. But the effects of being high on Wake Up are amazing. Work speed 50, moving up, consciousness up, and very little tiredness going on as well. It uh, it fulfills your need for rest. But I already have some. High explosive shells, I'll take those. We need them for our mortar. We might occasionally want to start shelling people. Steel is good. It's hard to say no to steel. It's hard to say no to plast steel, but that I have as well. Marble is... Oh, man, how can I say no to marble? Mm, well, when you have jade, it's easier to say no to marble. Right. Uh, water skip is good. I will take water skip, and if it's level 2, I'll take... Uh, level 1 or 2, I'll take 2. It's level 2? Great. Lona can learn it. Word of love? What level are you? Level 3. Lona can't learn that. We already know solar pinhole. But I don't think Lona knows it. So I'll take that as well. Katie, an assistant is good. Less sleep is needed if you have one of these in your brain. Rest fall rate goes down by a lot. We should take as many of those as possible. Healing enhancers, we like those too. These aren't so important. Uh, a Persona Zeus Hammer with neural cooling. Mad muttering is bad, though, so I'm afraid that's not worth it. It's a permanent debuff to uh, how you feel. She does. Wait, Lona already knows uh, Solar Pinhole? Oh well. Anything else worth buying here? Oh, I want all their gold. I like gold. Otherwise... Cataphrac Helmet is a little tempting for John, but we need to be a prestige one, and that's not what they have. For any more. Uh, I guess this is it. 
Ah, right, well I'm, I'm still, I'm giving them a bit too much, so I guess some of this flake is coming back with me, unless there's something else I buy for it. I wouldn't mind a little bit of wake up though, just, uh, just a wee bit to bring back for the gang. Otherwise, I hope I don't accidentally sell that later on, I totally would. I can see myself doing that. I will exhaust them of their gold through the power of flake. Very nice. Okay. And hey, we got allied with them just because we did a lot of trading. Now, John, we need you to get everybody back. And by everybody, I mean just you. So... Wait, what? What do you mean, too much weight? Since when does that stop? Far skip! There's another thing that you could do. You could trade with them to get some, I think alpacas carry carry things. Carrying capacity of 75. So a couple of alpacas could help out. Goats I don't think are carrying, uh, are beasts of burden, they're not. But alpacas are, right, yeah, okay. How about bisons? Bisons are pack animals. And their carrying capacity is huge. All right, we'll buy the bisons then. Can't believe this freaking guy. Got to buy damn near everything they have here. I can always bring them back and slit their throats. And I might have to sell back some of this steel because the steel is what's so expensive, or heavy rather. Oh, and I guess I could get rid of the flake for the animals. Well, that helps some of the way. Right, can you far skip yet? No, still too much weight, so John's going to have to trade with them and give them back some steel, which I think is the heaviest thing. I did buy the steel, right? I guess the steel's the whole problem. I could have just sold off all that and been okay. All right, now can we far skip? There we go. Hello, John. Hello, new animals. Please uh, deposit the silver here. And John, you, you've got a lot of stuff to just ditch here, don't you? I'm sure he'll drop it in, uh, in good time. As for the animals... Well, uh, I, don't, I don't want them at all. And they need to be in pens as well. Well, just slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. Lona trying once again to get that thrombo. We'll get you eventually. I'm glad that worked. Could have, could have gone a lot worse. Could have lost John. Feels like a mistake I'd make. Tell you what, just dump all this stuff. Let other people care about it, John. You got you got more important things to do. We don't even have pens. I don't I don't care about that. Lona fails once again. Directed the thrombo back towards the community. The thrombo refuses, unsurprisingly. It's a lot of work getting these thrombos to like us. Filthy animals in a research space. They should get rid of these dromedaries that wandered in as well. <laughs> Where are those geometries? And they're just hanging around, just giving the slaughter. They'll likely be hauled over here where they can be ugh, rotting bodies. There. Butcher creature, I think, is just on human corpses, right? Well, forget the human corpses for now. I want the non-human corpses, but still animal corpses done, though, as long as they're not insects. 
and I believe this takes animal corpses. Of course it does. Great, we'll add them over, butcher it up, and all will be fine. I got more chocolate than I was expecting. This is nice. I wonder if I'm going to end up with more cotton than I was expecting as well. Cotton's a tricky one. You always need more, and then you're like, ah, oh, I've got too much of it. It's easy to use, at least, but... All right, Meowzilla, you're making drugs. Now that is good, but what is even better is you making some incredibly good uh, stuff for us here. What am I thinking? I'm thinking really good dusters for all, but all is really only two people by this point. John wears his cape. All right, we've got that low shield pack here as well. How about some good trousers for us? We lack some really good Devil Strand Trousers. That'll help out. Make pants. Make them only out of Devil Strand. Low radius, of course. Only Meowzilla. Drop them on the floor. Make us... Oh, not a hundred pairs of them. One, two, three, four, five people. Five nice pairs of... Uh, pairs of Devil Strand Trousers. just to get you started working on something like that. What I'm looking to do is clear out all of this garbage, and it really is garbage at this point, and I want to have dedicated good clothes here for people to wear. Maybe dedicated storage spot for wake up and for bid access. No, none of our people are going to eat drugs um, of their own accord. How's Nyx doing with that Psychite addiction? This is good, I'm keeping Nyx's Psychite addiction dealt with by power of Psychite tea. So it's not a problem. Nyx can keep uh, keep going with his yayo when it's needed, whenever it's needed. I like it. Me, I was able to get to work on these real fast. It's good to see. <sighs> oh. <laughs> well, I got my one day of fixing my base, and now there's 58 of them. They're gonna use sappers and tunnel around your defenses. My animals aren't even all healed yet. Sab still bears the scars of the previous fight. Hmm. Hoomer, you want a fashionable beret? Do we know how to make you a fashionable beret? We do. It's a bit useless for protection. It's a bit useless for everything, actually. But it's there. Alright. Yeah, they are tribal. Which means there's more of them. The question is, who's in there? Bellcat. Bellcat is here. Slowpoke Night Owl. Useless at mining. Scarred up. No thanks. Who else do we have here? Sealzo and Whitelaw are in the batch as well. Otherwise though, yeah, they're very poorly armed and armored, but that makes them all the more dangerous for animals, because they're going to crowd around and start shanking our animals to death. So... That does make them all the better a target for one big, nasty, doomsday launcher attack. John, do you feel up to the task? Let's get the most damaged one. Go and equip that. Hell yes, says John. Very good. Oh, bye-bye, Patronus. Freaking Patronus. Uh, Vertigo Pulse is all well and good, that's not good enough. How about Invisibility? You need at least 50 Psy Focus to cast it, and you don't have that. However, I have a way to get you some additional Psy Focus, John. Take your drugs. There we go. Now you can go invisible. Be sure to pick up Logmar. You might need him if things get a little hairy. Now go, John, go with all the speed and power that you have. John might be able to get this done in the patented one-shot technique, but he might not. There is a massive cooldown on this uh, on this weapon, so if it doesn't work out for him, he's in a, he's in a bad state. Right, make yourself invi- get as close as you can first. Make yourself invisible, John. Twink. Head on out here. Now look at all these poor bastards just begging to be shot. Oh, bollocks, he's wearing his, his shield belt. Take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Now. Now, now, now. 
They're trying to dig their way through that plasteel door. Ooh, they've already done a lot of damage to it. Pick a target, any target, and eliminate them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get the hell out of my colony. Hey, John, you, you seem pretty happy right now. That's enough to lag the log here with all the damage John has just done. He used invisibility as Doomsday Rocket Launcher, Impact, Scorched Bingo Shoulder, and many, 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 many others. Good job, John. The wonderful thing is they don't even know who shot them. Unseen, unheard. Alright, go and grab your... Logmar, go and re-equip your shield, and feel free to finish the fight on anyone you want. Killed someone for 37 happiness. It only stacks up to 5. He killed, I think, a little bit more than 5 people there. Oh, I should have taken up a before and after on the, on the kills there. Anybody remember John's old human-like kill number? Because it's at 60 now. Oh, and the downings. Okay, I reckon most of these corpses are ones that John just created. So hopefully they've learned an important lesson about coming to get us. Were any of them the custom people? Yeah. You annihilated Bellcat. There is no Bellcat. There's just Bell. <laughs> if even that. Ah, and they dropped some jade for you. How very nice. Rabbit, however did a number on your... Uh... Oh, right, this is what I mean. All this time is cooldown time. There we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, I don't really want this fire burning everything up. <laughs> I can smell the burning flesh from here. <laughs> yeah, John, especially take down the one that decided to attack our wall, please. Or our door. You are faster than they are. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there is a setting in the game that I have disabled because I hate it, and it's called. Uh, well, actually, I can show it, can't I? Storyteller settings. We're playing a hundred percent on Blood and Dust, except for one setting, and that is Enemy Death on Downed. Now, this arbitrarily kills people that you down. You could punch someone with your fist in their arm, and they could fall and die from it. it I don't like it. It. Uh, goes around the mechanics of the game. It's there to stop you getting loads of prisoners to turn into converts and fill up your base, I imagine, but I still don't like it. So if that were on, you could think, okay, maybe he just went down and died. But no, John struck him so hard with a hammer in the chest that poor Rabbit just died. Sorry, not him, it's her. I believe she was a woman. Was a woman. Now she's just a corpse. Uh, who else? Right, this bear individual. Is bleeding out. John, like a shark, senses the blood, and another one bites the dust. How about Ganeo? Another one down. How about Alboka? Another one down. Any more for any more. Coyote. Tarkum Sharar. John's coming for you all. <laughs> Manipulating his persona, Zeus Hammer adeptly hit Coyote in the torso, and Coyote died. Oh wow, you managed to you managed to miss there. That's oh you didn't you didn't even try to hit them. Instead you kicked sand in their eyes first, so they can't see, and then then you decide to finish it off. Alright, you did great. Um kill them and then kill them and kill them and kill them. Don't want them wriggling around here now, do we? Ooh, an actual minigun. That's lost most of its value. Let it be. Alright, but John's not all about killing. It, it is mostly of what he's about, of course. But he has learned a few tricks which can help out here. Oh, I didn't actually teach him. Forget it. He didn't learn anything. I was going to use water skip to put out this fire. But jade is inflammable. Silver is flammable, though, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Then leave it be. So, what looked like a massive raid that outnumbered us about 7 to 1, 
John turned the tables in one shot. Good job, John. Oh, and the plasteel door was repaired when we weren't looking. Funny to think the Alpha Beavers are a bigger problem than a massive raid. It is quite funny, isn't it? Ooh, he's making excellent trousers for us all. Gestures up north. Petronius is still barely alive. Barely is uh, one way to put it. Alive, maybe not. There we go, we made a lot of excellent pairs of trousers there. That's good. Now, what to do with all this stuff? I'm actually tempted to get rid of the armor altogether, because I think we'll have better protection if we just have good dusters. A normal duster does all right sharp protection. It's just that it goes together with a flak vest, which we will soon understand how to make. But recon armor still has its uses, doesn't it? Mm, it's difficult. Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult around here. Right, how about... This place is only for recon armor and recon helmets. This place is only for flak vests. No, flak vests should probably be over here. This place is only for flak vests. So we got our full on armor and helmets, our flak vests. Uh, this place I only want for pants. And this place should be for dusters. It's not good enough though, I need more space for more clothes, and I'm not dripping in space here. It means I've got a lot of other junk to get rid of, don't I? I suppose I do. I'm just going to have to get rid of stuff that isn't, uh, isn't what we're looking for, and all my stuff is generally going to be made out of devil strand this way. Decent sharp protection on the legs, could certainly be better, flak trousers would give better, but Flak trousers inhibit movement, and look, they're not that much better. So what did I say? Recon armor and helmets. I might even just say no to armor. I don't need armor. I don't really want armor. Okay, forget it then. Your contents are just going to be... Cataphrac helmets, flak helmets, recon helmets and prestige variants. Oh, marine helmets are fine as well. Just not simple helmets, they're awful. Managed to forget what I've set them all towards now, Chings, how, how grim my own uh, memory works here. Dusters, good. I also want a place for button-down shirts, which is actually something else you could have here. Button-down shirts and dusters kept together in one place. Um, this one, I believe, is where I put the, the pants. Don't like saying pants, they're trousers. This could be pants, but also for the shield things. Uh, low shield pack and shield belts. And then what's this last one for? Is this one for the flak jackets? Yeah, the flak vests, that's what I mean. And that should cover everything people need to wear. Why worry about armor inhibiting your movements when you have bionics? Um, because they still slow you down. I want to go as fast as possible. And flak vests are something I want to put on only when uh, times are looking grim. So actually I'm going to have you take that off right now. Bye bye distant gold, he will be missed. Now that means I... Oh by the way, what's this worth if I send it off to somebody? Not much at all, good. So I can actually reload you with pretty much all the clothes and things that I no longer want or need. But perhaps once they're thrown into here, this should be a place for... Oh, I better add it to stuff and I just turned it off. Um, there we go. Basically, all apparel that is not uh, tainted or bio-coded is important here. Except, of course, for the pants, the dusters, the button-down shirts, the... Uh, what else do we have? 
flak vests, the helmets, flak helmet, cataphrac, marine prestige variants, and recon. Simple helmets are fine. I don't, I don't want those. What else are we looking to chuck away here? Or rather, what have we already set aside for ourselves? The shield stuff, the low shield pack and shield belts. There we go. I can't actually set it to filter for thrombo for here, sadly. That's ah, unfortunate, but that's how it is. All right, hopefully that will sort these out nicely. It'll move the junk from here over to here. Lona's getting changed into some good Devil Strand trousers. Bye bye Patronus. At least you don't get penalized for not saving them in their suicide charge. The laborers will return now. Well, what about the catatonic one? Hey, Sheet, once you're done smelting that chem fuel, which I'm actually... That's a good use for the laborers, because it's it's unskilled labor. Uh, go and bring Anna to the shuttle. Gulls. I'm, I'm reminded of Gull Masset. I wonder why you're bringing them over here. Like, these t-shirts and crap should surely come into here. Oh, because they're not taking clean stuff. That was... Oh, wait, no. I have it here. You can take clean. I need to copy it over to here, 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 and here. It was still brought over here. Why? A cloth t-shirt. Should surely be brought over there. It's not bio-coded and it's not tainted. Maybe they're moving that before I set these things up. For the love of God, man. They want to pound us out with mortars. John, you know what I'm going to ask you. Which means I think I already know the answer. But you're probably going to need to go and get another one of your favorite rocket launchers. How are you feeling on your... Okay, he has enough to go invisible again. Good. Go and equip that doomsday rocket launcher. Actually, go and equip the one that's uh, a bit more banged up. How to see the light radius of lamps? Uh, I don't think it shows normally. Go and pick up Logmar as well. You don't want to be without Logmar. All right, John. Invisibility is go. Oh, you never learnt how to put out fires, did you? Water skip. I want you to learn water skip. I also wanted Lona to learn water skip, so once you're done with whatever that is, please you go and uh, learn it as well. And then John, once you have that, on you go. Now, who's joining us for yet another raid? If I didn't have these rocket launchers or the massive intellect of mine to know how to deal with these, God, I'd just be... Randy would be whipping me senseless today. Anyone know in that bunch before they get at him? I hope somebody's helping me fill out the guest book here because it's uh, difficult for me to go back in the VOD and check these. Actually, I can go and check if anybody has been adding to it. You haven't? Come on, guys. It's open for comment. At least I think it is. Let's see. Anyone with this link can comment. Oh, man. Giving me hard times here. Uh, right. Still. Let's check out who we have here. Actually, nobody of note is coming to attack. Hummingbird, though... Oh, no, Hummingbird was a uh, a very unfortunate person who came earlier. And uh, I don't think they'll be leaving in one piece. If anybody's wondering what kind of damages was done here, there were a lot of them. Why are there not more body... Oh, yeah, the body's burnt away to a crisp. Only bio-coded apparel allow. That's why the clothing is not moved. Only bio-coded... Did I turn off non-bio-coded? Ah. Well caught. Very well caught. Thank you. Screw the bio-coded stuff. That's just for smelting. Okay, John. I think you're still high on go juice from the last time. Yep, so you'll be able to leg it over there despite the weight of this doomsday rocket launcher. And now you know water skip, which is good. 
Where are they going to set up? Now, this is big risk, because let's say they don't flee, enough of them survive, they spot John, they start shooting John. His shield belt can only handle so much and he doesn't know skip. And he's going to be a sitting duck for a while, it's very bad for him. The itch is growing, says Boomer. Dare we ask what itch? Alright, they're going to get their materials dropped in. Now there's a chance that the mortars will survive some of this. The question is, should we spare the mortar? I think we should just blow right into them. Look at their own explosives. They have two multi-rocket launchers and doomsday. If we can get those for ourselves, all the better. John, make yourself invisible. Heavy on the heat, but it doesn't cost a lot of side focus, thankfully. Now, John, get over there. And, uh... Oh my god, he's still wearing his shield belt, of course. Take that off. Strip in front of the enemy while naked. That must feel so good. And, uh, they're not quite as huddled around as I would like. But if you land a shot... Is that a rock in the way? Oh, I don't like that. If you land a shot, say here you do a whole lot of damage to them we need to maximize the damage though how about there you aiming for Felicia or for a place doesn't really matter as long as you get it in there I don't think they are going to continue their attack I really don't think they're gonna be attack continuing their attack this is why I like Doomsday Rocket Launchers, it's also really why I uh, don't let the enemy get their attack with them. Equip that, force to equip the shield belt and grab anything else it needs grabbing. I need those rocket launchers if they're still there. Maybe once the smoke clears a bit. There we go. Don't suppose anybody's wandering away with those rocket launchers, we do want them. Nope, they all went down. The question is, did they survive going down? There's one of the Doomsday rocket launchers. Hmm. Did any of them have any nice implants, by the way? There's a few things I should have checked going into this, but I was too keen to not be pulverized by, uh, by mortar fire. Well, uh, I know. No, they don't. <laughs> one of them's got hearing loss. I don't care so much about a neurocalculator, that shouldn't be necessary. I care about bionic ear, though. If we could bring down Taisia, that would be good for us. But anybody see the quad rocket launchers? It's entirely possible they got destroyed when dropped. No, there it is. There's only one of them, though. Where's the other one? Find rocket launcher. Triple rocket launcher. There's only one there. Okay, I guess it got destroyed. They do get damaged here. I mean, this one, oh, it's at 100. That one's at 81, because they drop and the explosion still goes. What's John's count now? John has now killed 70 people and downed 77. Now, it's important to me that this, uh, uh, okay, kill Karen if you want. Crunch, oh, Karen strikes back. With a field hand, no less. Well, can't be having that. There we go. Now, I want you to water skip some of this. Uh, keep that... Keep that Doomsday Rocket Launcher safe, please. And bring down Taisia. Don't kill Taisia, please. Perfect. I want that bionic ear. There's a few things I want, and John has a lot to take care of himself. But, I have confidence in him. He's going to water skip the worst of it. As long as he keeps the, the big guns safe, that's what I'm looking for here. I know this stuff gets exhausting from a neuro point of view, but there we go. Ah, and the, the traders have arrived, just in time. try and put out some of these fires before we go and bring our folks back. When do you plan to get more than two cards? 
<laughs> Who needs more than two colonists? Anyway, capture them. That's a quick way to put the fire out. We're not actually capturing them. Also, didn't put the fire out. Ooh, okay. Keep that fire away from us. There we go. Just try me, Randy. Oh, this this killing has inspired John. Inspirational, I'm sure. Uh, I can still water. Actually, I can water skip this. Floink. Put these fires out. As long as we get these, uh, the rocket launcher, we didn't lose out in terms of uh, killing power from that fight. Somebody needs to bring Taisa back. You could actually field ten to them before they, uh, so they don't go down on us. There's also a question of anybody with gear that we want to loot, and a double check on any prosthetic parts. Neuro calculator is not important to me. Makes my decisions a little easier when there are no people here from the chat that I want to keep alive for, for reasons of being nice. But otherwise, here just get the rocket launchers and we're good. Did anybody wear a particularly good shield belt or something, though? Recon armor that's good is pretty good. At least it sells for decent money. Maybe just go and uh, strip these people for now, the ones that are well armored. And that actually includes Taisia, but we'll just capture you for now. Go. John did a good for us. John did a very good for us. That poor helmet's a bit crappy though. Oh, I was going to field 10 to you, wasn't I? Um, 10 to them. Oh, with medicine, that's really fancy. Of course, I tell my people to carry medicine on their person. Does Anna need to be loaded onto it manually? Oh, whoa, 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 you got up! And now I just well, I've destroyed both of their legs now, so they're not going to be getting up, but that was dangerous, could have killed them. Ten to them without medicine, they don't deserve medicine now. Yeah, what's up, what's up with these folks? Required, duh, 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 but it only, oh right, I need to actually tell these people to get in the shuttle. I thought they would at, uh, automatically go. I wonder what happens if you just ignore that for a while. So, um, poor Taisa here has no legs, and they're about to lose their ear. But they're ours. Smash one leg, get up, smash the other leg. Well, that's just the kind of inspiration for creativity that John is feeling now. Okay, Randy has surely spent a lot of his points here, however that operates. I'm under the impression that the storyteller built up points that they spend on raids and other negative things that happen to you. Well, we've had quite a bit of all of that, thanks. I would like to have a... Um, a what exactly? A small granite shelf... Right about here. Is that under tall thingamajig or not really? Yes, I want it there and I'm going to fill that full of, um, full of these highly explosive shells. And I'm probably going to regret this, but I'll keep the rest of the shells in here. They have a special pool of set points just for when Jake's playing. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay, so this now only has nice helmets in it. This now only has flak vests in it. This has trousers in it, including ones I don't care about. And the shield belt and the low shield pack. And this one just has dusters in it. 
Right, I want to sell off pretty much everything that isn't made of Devil Strand or Thrombofur. Thankfully, John's bruise to his torso is doing pretty much nothing. However, Chings, that was 9 damage on the torso, which isn't ideal. There we go. Taiza ought to be stripped as well. Ooh, Uranium Helmet. But yes, they do ought to be stripped while we can. They're not going to be moving anywhere at any point. But let's get a good bit of medicine and remove that ear of theirs. Because somebody deserves a bionic ear because they lost theirs. Lona got her one replaced and Meowzilla deserves much the same. Also, Boomer, I know you're tired, but please tend to John. You got a little bit of a boo-boo. And goodness, I need more medicine. Why do I not have more medicine? Because I don't have anywhere near enough medical herbs here. Might end up buying medicine at this rate. John will go and get some trading done with you, and also with you. You can take a bionic left ear and put it on a right ear, that's fine. You just kind of uh, peel it inside out. <laughs> Boomer doesn't remember what being tired is supposed to be. Uh, okay, oh, you got here faster than I thought. They offer me more alpacas, but um, I've got a bad track record with alpacas here. Get rid of this Pemicam, I always have way too much of that. I've actually gotten myself quite a few package survival meals. Uh, yeah, sure, one bit of medicine, why not? I'm always low on it. Psychite tea. Tempting, but I make plenty of my own. I like Plasteel, I'll take it all. I love Soothers, I will take that one. Otherwise, I'll get rid of some organs to pay this off. Shock Lance is always gold, always. What else can I sell you? This is costing me quite a bit. Eh. Oh, Flake, of course, of course. Right, no point having all this Flake if we don't just sell it to the highest bidder for all their silver. I'll sell 200 of it to you. Also, that's with the Lanzo people. I don't need particularly good relations with the Lanzo people. But it might not hurt to give them a little gift every now and then. <laughs> like Orlob. Um, still, though, I don't really know what I'd give them. Aside from maybe a fat load more. Oh, right, there's no need for all these smoke leaf joints. Oh, but it's not worth that kind of relationship. Nah, forget it. Ah. <sighs> There we go, this is the nice relaxing moment after all that hell that Randy just put me through. And again, those two raids would have been a nightmare to deal with if we hadn't had John. And it's not just that we had John, John had inv invisibility at just the right moment. Otherwise, John would have been standing there for five seconds trying to shoot a rocket launcher when he has no shield belt on. He would have gotten massacred and they would have moved out of the way knowing that he was there. It was just altogether an awful situation if he wasn't able to turn invisible. But he is. This is a good opportunity. They'll buy elephants. We need to let our incredibly injured elephants out into the world. Um, Linus might look horribly injured, but they're actually okay. Their moving is fine. Their manipulation will be better when their jaw is fixed, and their jaw will be fixed. They've just got a wee bit of eye scarring. Okay, a, a lot of eye scarring. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, we gotta get rid of Goka. I know that's a late stage pregnancy. But you've still gotta go. These, these, these dying elephants need to go. Shattered jaw? Oh, that's bad for fighting. So Finboy and Goka. And maybe Kaira? That's getting rid of a lot of my elephant uh, adult population, though. Ah, if you're late stage pregnant, I'm going to be getting rid of a good potential new elephant there. Hmm. What is a rain shield belt? Eh? 
Well, shield belts stop you getting shot from ranged weapons. They do nothing in melee, but they don't allow you to shoot out. I'm definitely getting rid of Finn Boy. And I guess I'll get rid of Linus as well. There are others that I should definitely be considering getting rid of, but I... I want these baby elephants to come about so I can start getting new, bigger elephants into the fray. But didn't somebody get really mangled in the brain? No, I think they died, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It was, um... Uh, Jingo. Kaira, Linus, and Finboy. Bye-bye. Kaira, Linus, Finboy. Kaira, Linus, Finboy. You will be missed, but it's better for you to live out a nice peaceful land, a peaceful time with these exotic traders. <laughs> they pay us a lot for our thrombos, but not happening. I love my thrombos. Hyperweave is pretty rare. I never deal with it though. I don't like rare. Um, rare materials like that for making stuff with. You never have enough for everything you want. Oh, we got a pulsar thing. Chaos skip is pretty bad, but skip is skip. Nobody need. Ooh, medical could be good, so that somebody can, somebody who's bad at medical can finally get good at it. Otherwise, bionic arm, yes. Bionic heart, yes. And all your gold, please. Very expensive. The hand talon might seem tempting for somebody who normally does shooting but occasionally gets caught in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I'm not a big fan on hands-only things because they, they remove your natural hand, which you might want for other things. Otherwise, I dare say we're okay. Yeah, I can spend a lot of silver on this, it's no big deal. They don't buy my flake though, do they? I'm a little surprised at that. I figured exotic people would be interested in buying up Flake. But it's no big deal. Off you trot. Give me what you got. Learn Chaos Skip. And maybe I could have John learn a thing about medical so he can field tend. I think he's one of our worst medics that we have. Uh, colonists. Forget construct. Actually, get rid of a lot of these. I don't care about you. I don't care about you, or you, or you, or you, or you. Yeah. Or you, or you. Now I can quickly check something like medical skill. Uh, I'd like Lona to know it as well, but John is the worst at it, so... John, go and learn some thing, uh, things or two about medical. There we go. John's often in uh, the field of battle, so if he knows how to patch somebody up there and then, that's all the better. Maybe haul the rest of the stuff while you're at it and let these people admire the dead bodies around my base. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking damn good now. Very low on elephants. I'm not a, not a fan of that. But we'll deal with it. Lona, before somebody else spends all of their time doing it, would you mind mining that slate for us, please? Meowzilla tries desperately to make all this flake with all these drugs that I have. I got way too many drugs. Never thought I'd have this problem in my life. Too many drugs. Perish the thought. And there we go, Thaisa graciously donating their ear. They've lost their legs. You know, I feel like I've done them a real... If I got jumped by an invisible guy with a doomsday rocket launcher, I'd feel a bit miffed by it as well. I'm not even going to take their organs, I am going to give them a pair of new legs and let them go. They won't be good legs, but they'll be legs. There you go. And Thaisa will be allowed to waddle out of here. Well, unless we end up selling them, that's also possible. <laughs> I might sell them into slavery. Still better than dying, though. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
Why are you unloading some trousers? Where did, why are you bringing tainted trousers over here? <sighs> Whoops. Say no to tainted stuff. And say no to bio-coded while we're at it. Glad I caught that, otherwise this would have been full of crap. There we go. Jake, you're an unrecognized philanthropist, you know that, right? Well, at least I recognize it, and I see you do as well. One leg should be enough, I'll give them two. Otherwise, they might get malnourished when trying to leave the map. There we go, Luna's making us some more tea for our resident addict. How you feeling, next though? You getting the shakes? Psychite tolerance is small. Psychite addiction is there, of course. Thankfully, he's not very addicted. As long as he slurps his tea, he should be okay for a while. That smelt weapon should be done forever. And the radius can be a lot smaller. Oh wait, no, this is for the mace and stuff, isn't it? Hmm. And yet it needs to be big enough to encapsulate these lockers. Where was that silver... Um... That silver hammer, though. That was worth money. Are you, you ever gonna get out of here? Some of the required... Oh, they required Nikitas, but Nikitas left. Nikitas just waddled off. What's gonna happen with this thing? I mean, I'm sure it'll go of its own accord eventually, but uh, Nikitas left the map. He's already back home. Yeah, not going to be sent unless Nikitas is put in there. It's alright, they're not doing any harm being there, so they will just be there. Unless they're like dying of malnutrition. Nope, they're fine. You failed the mission, Jake, it's a bug. It's not a mission, this is a labor team that I brought in. John ordered there to be some laborers here. Speaking of orders, are we going to butcher these poor things up? I wouldn't mind their skin. More loves cleaning up nicely, but at this point I will want more hauling done. Could you load on the worker transport maybe? Maybe unload them and use them for longer. Ah. Hey, these guys want to work here forever? Fine by me. Go and uh, rescue Anna. I offered to give them back, they don't want them back, fine. Could do with some extra haulers anyway. You would have had to arrest the other guy, yeah, or attack him and that would have made me enemies with the, uh, the Imperium. Well, while we're at it, I wouldn't mind these mechanoids being shredded. We'll turn the power on. I don't care if they don't get much of a, a seat. It's not a particularly lengthy task, shredding those down. Okay. I would like to load this thing up with all the crappy clothes that I have. And I happen to notice I have crappy clothes here. Unfortunately, tainted stuff gets mixed in. Maybe if I just scroll past them all. There we go. I don't think they're tainted anymore. Cloth garbage. Thrombo. Normal. Uh, it's, it's worn out. Ah, but worn out isn't that bad. It's just the problem is people go for what's the highest quality. And this is only normal. I guess it's still going to have to go. I mean, I could really just get rid of everything that isn't my Devil Strand stuff. Oh, there's Tainted coming in again. Bowler hat. Are you Tainted? You are Tainted. Really hard to keep a good eye on them here. Cloth toque, not good enough. Cloth veils are certainly not good enough. Get rid of all this nonsense. This is all Tainted stuff. I don't want flak pants. And I don't really want these normal flak vests. I'm just going to get rid of those as well. 
black jackets, away it goes. The recon armor is a different story. I should probably have those for selling. Same with that marine armor. Simple helmets though, oh they're tainted. The ordering here is horrific to work with. Uranium helmet would be good to smelt down for uranium, but that's too much of a hassle. Flak helmets are good, recon helmets are good. Smoke pot belts, I don't like them, away they go. Alright, that should clean up a fair bit of the mess that we have with our apparel. Hopefully. <laughs> Load of meat here now. Bison and dromedary meat. Let's get that bison meat over here. I think we already keep the dromedary meat. Good. There's a lot of uh, modifying our people that I want to do as well now. Does anybody have any injuries that I really want to take care of right now? Scars and the like. Uh, I didn't rip off anybody's nose for you there, Lona. But our friend here deserves a new ear. Install bionic ear on the... Not the left ear. Uh, bionic ear, right ear. Left middle toe was torn off, and I would like to speed you up, but you're not someone that runs around as much as other people. John wanted to balance out his legs so that he could run into combat a bit faster, but his movement is already very high. Probably a better idea to give it to Lona, so Lona can... Um, Lona does a lot of moving around, and that movement at 80% is a little too low. So even though you're not injured on any of your legs, I am going to give you a bionic leg. I did get a bionic leg for you, right? Hmm, huh, I thought I got bionic legs. No, I got a bionic arm. Ooh, meow is doing fine on their arms. I had this bug where a wounded guy walks off the map and it just never leaves. Oh well. Fine, I'm going to keep these slaves for a while then. Eventually they'll probably get uh, angry and wander off too. For now, though, they are just hauling and cleaning slaves. Damn these mega scars, I wanted these all burned up. Nix, do you still carry the fire on you? No, you carry frag grenades on you. Okay, not a big deal. Maybe I could put them into a shuttle and send them back to the Imperium. Right, here we go, Meowzilla. Time to be more than human. I'm getting that ear. Shame both your legs are knackered in different ways, though. There's the recon armor, some crappy cloth T-shirt, but these are these are gutted out a lot more. In fact, they've got a, glo a cloth duster there, which I'd rather not have. I only want Devil Strand dusters, so I can actually reload you with. Oh, th how did I miss this? There was a uh, filter here. Cloth duster. Off you trot. Oh, that is very handy. Once Boomer figures out how to make flak, which is just combining cloth and steel. Oh, all the more reason I'm glad I'm making more cotton. Let's expand the zone here so we have yet more cotton. There we go. I'm open to a bit of downtime here. Oh, I think I expanded the wrong zone. This one needs to expand. There we go. Good, good. This is all being grown. These ostriches need to go, though. I need them dead health. Preferably from a bit of a further away location than that. Uh... No, don't be so daft. Voomer, help out. They are hardy buggers. They are some real hardy buggers. Voomer, you might be in for a bit of an unpleasant surprise here. Do you think you can kill that thing before it gets to you? 
This ostrich is certainly going to get to health before health can deal with it. Uh, maybe I should prep for this a bit more than I did. Anybody able to help? Well, when in doubt, Nyx and his... Uh... Wait, who's the other human I got there? Oh, Lona was here. Ah! Good, no stampede coming over to assist Lona there. Alright, health. And... Boomer, we might have some help for you. Oh, it's it's going to have a hard time with you. Right, you're just going to have to melee that thing and hope that you win, and, and it does not. This one's manipulation is pretty shot, but... Good luck, health. Oh, whoa, Nyx, do not be shooting Boomer here. Also, don't misfire and kill health, because that would be funny, but... Uh... Actually, that is exactly how these kinds of stories end. Rare Thrombos. That's another way for these stories to end. Okay, just a couple of bites. Nothing serious. Voomer. Just a little bit of a peck. Again, nothing serious. Rare Thrombos offer a wonderful opportunity for me. I'm not likely able to tame any of them, although it is worth trying. But what I will do is bring them back and slit their throats, because that's a lot of meat, and more importantly, thrombo fur for me. So anybody that has the capacity with which to do so, I will want these guys taken care of. I don't even want them injured, because if they're injured, they'll lose a third of their thrombo furriness. So it's more important to find my shock lances. People probably wearing the shock lances. Insanity lance isn't good enough, it needs to be a shock lance. Oh, that's one shock lance. Only one shock lance. That isn't. That is not good. I would have thought I'd had more. Shame about wasting our time having a couple of people to um, to treat injuries for after that. But oh well. Is that really all I have in terms of shock lances? No, there's one lying out here. That's good. That means we can abduct four of them without injury. Birds don't eat anime tree. Uh, no. Beavers eat anime tree. Oh, man, they did a number on your feet there, didn't they? Health is someone that I want to be a bit faster. There's something to be said for actually not even tending to your right leg and instead giving you a new right leg. Well, it's use it or lose it, right? Health, enjoy your new leg. Oh, I don't have the leg. Why do I keep thinking I have a, a bionic leg? I do not. I've got assistance, healing enhancers, a bionic eye, a bionic stomach. Interestingly enough, I want John to have that healing enhancer. He keeps getting into the fray of things. Install healing enhancer. Lona, you get one as well. And I had a couple of Circadian assistants, right? I'd like you both to have them. Oh, I have three of them. Okay, John, you get a Circadian assistant as well. And who else spends too much time asleep? Probably health. Health, here you go. Although Voomer... Ah, uh, Boomer already has one. Then there you go, health. What else could we give? Could give some nice eyes for people. John is on Lucy because John is really good and deserves it. Simple as. Also, Lona, would you mind killing that rabbit? I don't even know what it's doing here. Is it ours? No, it's not. Then it dies. Good job. Looks about the medibay, perhaps uh, we should stagger the installation so combatants aren't uh, Nonsense, we should do it all now while the iron is hot, so to speak. Why is this place filthy? Orlov, clean. Much better. Boomer, are you tended to? Then get to work. Your manipulation was not even touched, so please tend to people. Get the permanent temps to do more mopping too, I guess. Oh, there is that. 
Right, oh, the thrombos are in a perfect place right now. Nyx, once you install people's immunohancers, I want you to go and uh, shock, shock, horror, horror these things. Why is it lagging? Okay, I thought for sure that was another another raid. The Sharp Gang will attack this thingamajigger. Tell me more. Taking damage, seeking a place to land, Pirates and the Sharp Gang will attack. The shuttle contains three troopers and somebody else. The commander must be rescued. These prizes are terrible except for the honor. Honor is damn good. And I don't know what kind of sharp gang attack it is, but I've just put all my people under, so it might not be a good idea. Plus, they're at the point of bringing rocket launchers. That means these attacks are very dangerous. So it's not really worth our time, sadly. Alright, Nyx. Don't fail on brain surgery now. It's been a while since old shaky Nyx has... Uh... Ooh. Okay, they're fine. John will be up in time to deal with them, I'm sure. Nyx, you need some psychite, man. Is that addiction growing? Do addictions just grow and grow? Doesn't seem right. Claims he needs rest. Not on my watch. Um, where's that other psychic shock lance? Do we leave it out here? Somebody must have equipped the Psychic Shock Lance. Or somebody's carrying it there. There we go. It's an Asante. There's the Shock Lance. There we go. Nyx, go and pick that up, please. Nyx is going to get us a valuable amount of um, thrombos. Nyx can do social, right? Uh, well, he can, surprisingly enough. He's, oh wait, no he can't. No social for Nyx. Pretty sure they don't counter-react to this, but let's do this from a safe distance. Can you do hunting, Nyx? I'm just going to assume that you can, and hope for the best on that one. Oh, your, your thing only had one shot left on it. That's unfortunate. Perhaps I should be going for the males first rather than the females. The males we care a lot less about. These lances are so damn powerful. Hunt. 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 Now, you don't do hunting, do you, Nyx? Oh, well, I can actually make you do it. Don't shoot it. Do not shoot it, Nyx. Just slit its throat. Okay. That's all well and good. I just need them dead right now. I'm going to bring them back. Laborers missed the shuttle. Okay, that's good. It's only 60 relations lost. I thought it might be like labor being lost or something. Okay, that's quite good. Now, since they took no injuries, assuming psychic shock doesn't count as an injury, we should be getting, yeah, tons of leather out of them. 160 each. We'll be able to make some phenomenally good gear out of that. And I intend on doing so. I'm not going to abduct the other ones though, I've had so little luck on getting this one. Not much point in getting more. I would like the remaining ones to fight amongst themselves though. Even if they go down, I'll still get about a hundred leather out of each of them. There we go, Boomer continuing to do all the work around here. A lot of operations to be done, but you can do it. So there we go, the assistant is in on health. Lonat now has uh, the assistant to help them sleep better, and the healing enhancer, and John has his healing enhancer and is soon to have the assistant to help him sleep better. There's still the question of the bionic heart. The bionic heart can be quite useful. 
I might give it to John as well. He deserves to be more than human. But I think it slightly increases movement speed, which might be useful on health. Health is a fragile one, though. Oh, what the hell? Health can have a bionic heart. Spine, stomach, eye. There's still that Arcotech eye. I know it's just wasting away there if I don't give it to anyone, but I don't know who I'd give it to. A couple of bionic eyes are already on John. Lona, it would make sense to give a good, uh, good eye to. Because she does a lot of uh, melee combat. Too much for my liking, but that is how it is. At this point, she doesn't really need double drill arms. Ah, there's an idea. I could take off one of those drill arms and give you a bionic arm. Yeah, there you go. That'll stop you being slowed down so much. Boomer's getting tired of doing all this work. Make sure health is covered by the hospital bed. She coagulated up his survival chance if he is hurt. Nah, too late. Coagulator's going to the people that are worth more to the colony. That said, without health, we'd be in a bad state when it comes to... Um, when it comes to planting everything we need. Sorry, Boomer, you're going to have to keep working on this. I need them done and dusted. It's going well, John. Your kill count continues to grow. 71. Actually, how's your side focus, John? If you get up, you'd be able to help deal with these things. Um, berserk pulse. You could make these animals berserk each other. Although we could do that with a simple uh, insanity lance. That way one of them would go down at least. Hey, Nyx. Well, once you're, once you're done sleeping, Nyx, we'll give you an insanity lance. If you don't already have one on you. There we go, Meowzilla shredding down those guys. Slowly. Why so slow? Ah, right, we anesthetize you to give you that bionic heart and the... Did I give you something else? Well, I gave you something, and that's slowing you down because of all that being woozy. We are running horrifically low on meds here. Prisoners are doing fine, though. They were recently fed, so they'll be okay. We need to do something about this medicine situation. All we have left is Glitter World stuff. I could get an industrial bulk seller over here and buy some medicine off of them. Oh, wait, there's meds over here. Okay, not to worry. We have backup medicine. We just need somebody to go and haul it for us. I also must have these thrombos sliced up. That thrombo fur is worth more than people's lives. It means heavy fur is no longer something I care about, so I'm actually going to say... Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that, but I did anyway. Clear everything apart from thrombo fur here. And then that's that heavy fur will probably be moved over here. I need to start making things out of all this leather, or else it's just piling up endlessly. But there's so much labor to be done all the time around here, it's kind of sad. And once John is up and on the go, we can trade to these uh, nice people. They've got, ooh, an aesthetic shaper. If I gave that to John and or Voomer, they might actually like each other for a change. Another architect. I I like it. Oh, well, John is on the go, but he's really woozy. His ability to negotiate is down the toilet. And he's spewing up all over the place. It's not going to stop him making some psychite tea, though. Ah, go figure, these leaves are starting to rot away. It's okay, though. I planted more than I'll ever need.
Whilst you're over there, John, though, I wouldn't mind having a trade with the Fallen Imperium. And see if you can't get Treyera back with some... Wait, is this Treyera? That is Treyera. Okay, forget Treyera. Maybe the Onobotas? No? Alright, well, it's only in the Industrials that I care about. Lona's all confused thanks to the anaesthetic. At least people don't get out for that long. Wait, was somebody being fed kibble? No, you probably just dropped that from uh, from when you were knocked out. Woozy. Maximum consciousness, 70% is a painful one. I guess it's like trying to do negotiation when you've uh, been at the dentist and your lips all... Blah, blah, blah. Anna has given up on this community. Get out of here, Anna. I don't even know why you're still here. Go away. I do not want you, and I do not need you. I'm going to need all this food, though. All this meat packed away. Actually, it's a little concerning that John is focusing on making psychite tea when I want him butchering animals. Before they go off, because if that leather spoils... Okay, there's a long time before it does spoil, but if it were to spoil, that'd be really bad for us. Where are those psychic shock, uh, psychic insanity lances? I think health has one, doesn't he? How many shots on it? Two. Mm. Drop it. Nix will have it. Nix, who in a surprising change of form is actually the one who's able to get up and move around right now. Quite quickly, because he's still full of mechanites. How, do, how long does that last? So my goal here is to make these thrombos injure themselves enough that they end up bleeding out horribly. But there's a big risk there. I mean, it could catch up with Nyx and slaughter Nyx instead. That's why I plan on making use of the long range on the thing. I was hoping they'd be a lot closer together than this. This might not be worth it altogether. Big risk that it could catch up with you, especially given the, the angles here. I think it would be better off doing this other one. Get yourself much, much closer to the door. Make them go mad and get the heck out of there, Nyx. Oh, you set its brain on fire, Nyx. Well, still run away. Hmm. Right, well that brain scar won't help matters, but it should go mental enough to attack uh, this thrombo. Oh, mmm, that's bad. <laughs> I don't want it to attack the dromedaries, I want it to attack the thrombo. It's probably going to lose its mental state before it attacks the thrombo then, that's bad. That was a waste of a shock lance attack. And this won't be enough to make this thrombo bleed out, it's just going to get bruised and stuff. But if you kill that uh, that dromedary and go for this thrombo, then all the better. How in God's name does he still have these sensory mechanites? Trade, Jake? I'm waiting for John to only be... Oh, it's wearing off now. Excellent. Okay, with that trading, though, don't want to lose out on those uh, architect pieces. It's still berserk, but this thrombo is not going to be going down. The dromedary has gotten in the way of all of that. Hmm. Sonic focus cost on berserk pulse is pretty low. Could make John do this instead. Risky, but John's all about taking risks for the crew. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> Three whole days was too much, Tyrion. I don't know how you're able to stay away from Mario for months at a time, but I can't stay away from this game for uh, for very long at all. No Lucy. A good thing I have plenty of Lucy. Berserk Pulse. Damn it! I just want Berserk, not Berserk Pulse. No point learning plants here. I want that Shaper though, and I want 
And that's Arcotech I, please. And that's already all my silver gone. And if I want that lance and that gold, that becomes even worse. I need to sell stuff to make up for this. Bye bye, kidney, lung, and heart. I'm gonna get rid of the pain stopper. I can't think of any time when I would use a pain stopper. And we have an excess drill arm that I have no use for. Anything else I can sell off for this? I don't need a spare reinforced barrel, but I do want it. Well, survival package meals, out you go. Don't make me sell Igor to, to carry this one over. I'm going to sell quite a lot for this, jings. All for that very expensive Arcotech eye that honestly I'm not sure I need that much. Although if I gave them over to health, health would never miss a shot with a sniper rifle. Hmm, I guess I could skimp on the gold. I like gold, I like gold a lot. And I have a little trick up my sleeve relating to gold, so that's why I want it all. But, four, two, eight, seven, six, five, there we go. Just give me that. All right, John, time for you to use your, not vertical pulse, there we go, berserk pulse. It's a dangerous one, but I'll have you do it anyway. Mostly dangerous because you're not running around at full capacity. Well, movement 101 thanks to Lucy. When I don't have any excuse of nice so you said you'd get it done in like one week and then, well, one weekend even. It's okay though, I'm used to people betraying me like that. Alright, Berser Berserk Pulse does not have a big enough range here. And if I Berserk Pulse really close to this thing, it's going to cause us a lot of issues. But, a bit of invisibility should stop it from knowing that uh, it even can attack us. So let's try this. Get out of there before this becomes a big problem for you. This is why invisibility is so good. Just being able to do things without being in danger yourself. Huge bonus. Now this thrombo is no longer angry. Hopefully, this uh, this thrombo will slaughter these dromedaries and then attack that other thrombo. Otherwise, John will be able to nearly cool off after a while. Maybe have Igor leave the area of the berserk. Paul, is he hanging around there? Igor should be on cower indoors at all times, and he is. So we're all right. Igor's a okay. No need to worry about Igor. How good of a psychic do you need to be to get invincibility? It seems incredibly powerful. I think it's pretty high level. Invisibility is a level 5, so the second highest level. On top of that, it uses a ton of neuroheat, and you need to be at at least 50% psi focus to use it. So it's not something you can just pull out like a party trick whenever you want. That stuff needs preparation. Damn it, I want these thrombos fighting each other, not against uh, crappy little dromedaries. Hopefully you'll remain berserk, collapse this thing, and then go and fight the other thrombo. Go, 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 fight each other! As long as they lay a hand on each other. There we go, they'll see each other as enemies and beat the crap out of each other. By the way, John, I know it's meditation time, but maybe you could butcher these things. Well, he does need his Psy Focus, I'll let him be. These things won't rot for a while anyway. But yes, yeah, Psychic Powers are incredibly powerful. Makes sense, you have to work quite a bit to get them, and we have put a lot into John. Okay, that's a very dead Thrombo. This one came away completely unscathed as well. How about this one? It's fine, I wonder if Lona's ever going to go and try and uh, tame these Thrombos then. John could still go out there and uh, berserk them into each other, which is what I want. Okay, <laughs> off to try and tame them the old-fashioned way, fine by me. As long as they're not berserking on each other. No, they're not berserk at all. Although Nyx has the possibility to make them zerk on each other. 
Oh yeah, Nixon is massive pain. Tice is all better. Tice has got both peg legs. Well then, Tice, it. Time for you to be released. This is my little act of mercy. Enjoy it while you can. Right, shamans are here. I can't imagine they'll have much of value for me, but they have those lances. Oh my god, I actually just want that alpaca altogether. Who are these people? Kanga? Do we really care about the Kanga Confederation? I believe that we don't care about the Kanga Confederation, at least not to the point where I want them to have any of that stuff. So I think we're going to have an interesting conversation with them about the aspect of them giving us their stuff. John, I need you to be the one getting on that pretty please. I know it's tiring work, but uh, please do so. Tried to tame the thrombo, the thrombo refused, nothing unusual there. Ooh, is that bio-coded? No, that's a lovely plasma sword for us then, has value. A lot of valuable stuff out here that I've been ignoring because there's just been too much other stuff to do. So these people are not going to like what I'm about to do to them. But that alpaca is the most important one. It's got everything I need. Even if I make him invisible when he does this, it won't be enough. Observe them for a while, John. Another one point something percent chance. I mean, eventually Lona's going to get one of these done. 1.7 even. It's good odds, but... Well, it's not good odds, but if you take enough stabs at it, it'll be okay. Uh, did we pick up the Doomsday Rocket Launcher? No, that and the Triple Rocket Launcher are still out here, but they'll eventually be grabbed. Eventually. That's not the alpaca I need. That is the alpaca that I need dealt with. Actually, how much do these people like me or not like me? Hmm. Kanga Confederation. Hmm. If this alpaca goes towards everything else, that'll be good news for me. Maybe less so for John, but hey, John can just uh, become the Invisible Man again. Is it, do we have Manhunting Pulse here, by the way? No, Manhunting Pulse is a lovely one to do. As long as that is THE one that I want here, what I can do is go... What do you have on you, by the way? That's nice stuff, but not completely worth our time. I'm gonna Berserk Pulse the lot of you. Oh, 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 it backed away at the last moment there. Try it again. No, it's still, still keeping too far away from everyone. I want them all grouped together so that I can do a horrible thing to them but they don't like grouping together, and I'm wasting this time that John's invisible. All right, try luck now, John. Oh, he's, John is visible again. Dangerous for John. Great opportunity right there, though. This is the right alpaca, yep. Have fun with that. They're all gonna be fighting each other. John can make good his escape. Oh wait, are the animals coming for John? Oh, that could be a problem. Good luck, John. Whoa, Nelly. Unexpected. I don't think the animals went for you. I thought the animals would uh, would run away. Thankfully, John can run away at great speed, thanks to his... Ooh, he's only 100% actually. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. The, alpaca, the other alpaca is uh, berserk as well. So why I did that was they had all the silver and the shock lance and the gold, and I didn't want to pay for them. 
I mean, who wants to pay for them? Is Lona going to be safe outside? Lona's not outside. Is anybody outside? Eh, not really. People are busy killing each other there. <laughs> Trying to tame that poor cat, but I don't have anyone with guns around to help out with this, and I do not want John getting injured here. You're going to go and help out there, and we're going to have the thrombos help out with this one. Actually, there's no reason not to just take every bloody person there is right now. Go and save John. Ooh, John's going to be slowed down by these attacks. Oh, but they're giving up. Oh, that's convenient. This one ain't, though. It's coming on in. Please go and take care of that bison. Oh, that's one very dead bison. Alright, and these guys will probably clear off. I doubt they're going to maintain an attack on us. No good reason for them to, at least. Just a little crack on Tarther. Nothing worth worrying about. So there we go. I made enemies with them, but I wanted those lances and the silver and the gold. And I got it without paying for it. They're not clever enough to take the stuff back. And they're busy kicking the crap out of each other as well. So now they're probably just going to wander off the map. It's one very dead alpaca, I'm afraid. And that is all very much my stuff. Even the Nutramane. Ooh, don't mind that at all. Did we know any of these people? They don't look familiar. Oh, I guess they're enemies now, aren't they? Nah. It's alright, and off they go. They've learnt their lesson, I'm sure. No point helping this person at all. And there we go, that's just the power of psychic. The psychic powers, if you will. Helping out in a big way. Even the nose on a, on a thrombo has that much power, it's unbelievable. Ah, I can put this uh, shock lance to immediate use, can't I? I certainly can. Nyx, do you want to get up and help us in some way, shape, or form? Ooh, his addiction's really small. But I think the only way to completely get rid of it is to... Um, is to make them go into... Uh, what's it called? Relapse? Rehab? Something like that. Get up, Nyx. Get yourself fed. It's time for you to go and capture us a couple more thrombos, please. Butcher Jake. Let's not butcher Jake. I know, I know. We still have a day and a half on them. I would like John not to be the one making psychic tea all the time. Perhaps I could say that you... You must be this incapable at cooking to make it. But it, unfortunately, psychic tea is a cooking task. And the only cooks are Lona and John... It's alright if Lona makes it, so I can. I guess I could say you must not have level 10 cooking in order to do this. And yeah, John should probably get going on that butchering, but I want his psychic powers high enough. Alright, next, I wish for you to go and force equip that psychic shock lance. We're going to get ourselves a lot of thrombo fur. Uh, Orlov is not very good at cooking. Not very good at anything, actually. I only got them so that they could be a fast person to pick up and to uh, the other thing. Clean. Picking up and cleaning. I mean, have you ever heard of Orlov being a good cook? Oh, you had an insanity lance on you. That's cool. Still, shock it. And hunt it. Go over there, slit its throat. Ooh, nice, we got the flak armor. Right, now I shouldn't need to research ever again, which I've said so many times by now. Now I'll be able to make some flak armor. I hope that that burn doesn't count as the leather being so... Ah! Ah, damn. That tiny, tiny burn was enough to lose uh, about 50 or 60 thrombo fur. 
I don't think the odds were that high on um, on that. All right, there you go. I'm sure someone will go and pick that up. Oh well, you roll the dice and you gotta stick with the odds. John's need for rest will go down now that he has his Circadian assistant. Mild pain. But you're still in severe pain, right? Cool 160. Okay, thanks for all those thrombos. Now my thrombo fur needs should be dealt with massively. Where do I keep my button down t shirt, uh, button down thingamajiggers? Doesn't matter. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. Once all this thrombo fur is over here, once John cuts them up, and we should be good to go. Again, something I wanted to do in this session was sort out all my clothing issues, and now that I have access to flak and everything else I could need, we're good on that one. Oh, this is not where I make flak armor? Do I make it here? Ah, okay. I guess I don't really need this electric smithy at all. I don't really need this chair for it either. I will move this good chair over here and have that flak armor made. There's a temptation to destroy these high-tech research benches because they take up a lot of space. And if I don't plan on researching anything else, then what's the point in having them? But every so often something comes up that I do want to research, like just now. Oh, there's no way I'm building bionics or anything else that needs fabrication. The amount of work that takes for a, uh, a tribal is absurd. Alright, all our animals are good. I can enjoy actual beds now. There we go. Startle them so that they go to their beds. How cute. I like the way they just go around the pillars like that. There's a lot of things I like. Hmm. I'd like it if the stromedry meat did not expire while it's out here, though. The thing is, there's about to be a whole lot more meat coming in, but I might as well get that done while I can. And let's make sure Orlov stays on the hauling. I know it's filthy in here, but there's a lot of hauling work to be done. And butchering work, of course. All these thrombos. Being tribal, it's not just your starting point. It's, uh... That's, uh, that's not relevant. It's not just your starting point. Researching anything afterwards comes at, uh... Increased cost in terms of research time because of your pathetic tech. We can see it here if I wanted a multi-analyzer. Research speed will be multiplied by 50% because of your tech level, which I think is Neolithic. Yeah, your faction tech level is Neolithic, and you can't advance that, sadly. Not really interested in that alpaca. There comes a point where you have too much meat and leather. Oh, God. I don't like construction tasks. Even if the prizes are good, it's just such a waste of time building these things. And it puts a large structure on the map, which might look good to some people, but not to me. Also, how is Bishop still alive here? He's burned out, but he is long dead. And he's sitting next to that triple rocket launcher and doomsday rocket launcher, which should belong to me. I need someone like Orlov or Nix to go and carry those, lest we forget about them. Okay, good. John is carving up those beasts like nothing on earth. And that's the wrong thing to go and haul. Please go and haul the triple rocket launcher. You should have enough space for both the triple and the doomsday rocket launcher. They're not excessively heavy. When's your plan to move to part two? Not this episode, but probably the episode after. Well, maybe. I want to fill up my people with bionics so they become worth more and have an easier time in the next place. Okay, why has health got one of those shield belts, uh, low shield packs on? I don't actually want anybody holding up there, wearing those. Ah, it's probably because it's a nudist thing. Do not wear shield pack. For what it's worth, don't wear a shield belt either, you're a gunner. 
I want you to wear a lance as your utility item. Which, granted, I'm a little short on right now. What happened to cause all the bodies? Well, these bodies received a, uh, a nice visit from Illustration's Doomsday Rocket Launcher, which completely eradicated the mortar group before they even posed a threat, thankfully. It still leaves behind a recon. Maybe I won't take the poor one. Poor is pretty bad, but normal stuff is okay. Relations are also okay. Well, I mean, not with a Kanga Confederation, but boo-hoo. Man, that's a lot of meat. We're going to need that Thrumbo meat over here so we can pack it into a rocket and send it over. But this is the real haul there, all that Thrumbo fur, which will be brought over here and made into incredibly good gear. Finally, smelting down that, uh, not the power conduit, the silver mace. I don't know how much silver you get out of silver mace, probably not enough to justify that. 125 wasn't even worth the, wasn't even worth the time. Kangas are logging next to us, but we have plenty of wood. It feels good, this feels like our age of plenty right now. Now the age of plenty is often followed up by far less lucrative ages, but for now I'll take what we have, and what we have is good. I wonder if there's anything worth planting in some of these places, but health has not had enough time to do planting. Oh yeah, and there's all this devil strand, isn't there? Let's just have all of this gone so we don't worry about down here ever again. And there comes a point, maybe, when one has too much devil strand. Didn't think it possible, but here we are. Maybe slap the Kanga again, since they already hate you. Regular rating is good for happiness. Uh, it's been it's been ten days or so since the last raid. Where are they? Ah, oh, they're quite close by as well. But then so are ugh, plain leather. Raiding is good for business, but for now we're fairly happy, except for Nix. But Nix is impossible. Actually, if this person's still alive, Nix could feel pretty good about killing them. Anybody around to go and capture them? Yes, please go and capture them. Nyx is going to kill them so Nyx can be a bit happier. Keeping Nyx happy has been very difficult ever since he came down with those nanites. And there we go. As for them, they're not getting any uh, any of this. Now, Nyx is not capable of social, is he? But he's certainly capable of going over there and shooting them dead with a, uh, with a gun. Even so, let's do this somewhat nicely. Time for your euthanization. And that way I can guarantee Nyx gets it done. Operate on them. It's also, I think it builds up a good bit of medical, let's check. Minus 950, ah, okay, good 500 bit of medical learnt there. And haul their body away, I gotta make a mess here. And then there we go, executing a prisoner makes them feel a whole lot happier. Having a little event would make us happier as well. <laughs> like a public execution, a bit late on that one. I feel like you could have a throne speech to uh, make everybody a bit happier. And maybe, just maybe, 88, it might be inspirational. I could do with some inspirations. Oh, well, actually, I've got a few of them. It's just that I don't have inspired taming, which is what I want. However, you have inspired creativity. Where's the art thing? Here it is. Do I have enough jade? I do. Right, this is a good opportunity to make a large jade sculpture which uh, blasts, blasts, yeah, blasts off in terms of quality. Also, I want some button-down shirts out of nothing but thrombo fur, and I want five of them.
I might want more than five of them. I want eight of them, please. Nick's sleeping as usual. Of course, these nanites make his rest fall rate. Both of them together make his rest fall rate something like 240%, which isn't good for Nick's being useful to the crew, but Nick's is anti-useful. Having him around has just been awful for the team. The one thing he can do is surgery, and early game he failed at surgery all the time. Every time. And here into the mid and late game, well, there are other people who are just as good at surgery as him, so it's just a waste. Complete waste of an individual. I'm saddened by his existence. Health, would you mind hauling us thrombo for save a, save a round trip for our friend here? Also nice to get their horns. Their horns have good value. Do we actually keep the horns here? Yeah. Oh, I never actually set this thing to take Glitter World or Real Medicine. That's why it's not been around here. Starting to learn all the mistakes I've been making here without noticing. Do the animals not care about wallowing in their own filth and blood? When have animals ever? They're not like humans. Sure, we have our similarities, but it's dangerous to assume that all of our own sensibilities extend to them as well. There we go. Oh, a poor one. Oh, right, it's just poor because it's uh, just a poorly made one in general. Somebody wanted to switch out for it. There we go. Just look at the industrious nature of Meowzilla creating all these uh, shirts for us. Excellent. Good. Wait, we have a Hyper Weave? Oh, that's probably the one that he took off. But the ones that are old and worn and crap I can happily send away. I just want everybody wearing thrombo fur button-down t-shirts. Except, I suppose, for Ilstra Jean. He wears formal shirts. So I will have to make a formal shirt. There it is. Just one of them, again, out of thrombo fur. In fact, I'll move that one up as well. This should get people dressed in some extremely good wares. I don't know why you're wearing a jacket there, Nyx. You should definitely be wearing a... a duster, although I can't help but notice I'm pretty low on the duster front. Where am I meant to be holding dusters? Is it here? Yeah, the dusters and the shirts go here. Nice chill time. And on top of that, some silver for us all to enjoy. Good, I was needing silver. It won't have any overhead mountainous stuff because it was an impact there. Excellent. I'm going to do a little steel shelf here, just for the, mm, yeah, steel shelf here just for the chem fuel. Nice to know I have the steel for it. Ah, happy for a relaxing time, frankly. Have we brought over all the meat yet? Not quite, but almost. It's being brought over as we speak. There's just so much of it. Dump, 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 dump. Excellent. The th that's a masterwork of a uh, formal shirt for John, and that means it gives huge armor. 60% sharp armor. Compare that to a piece of actual armor. It's, uh, it's quite good, and this is only the middle and outer layer. Whereas the inner shirt is just skin wear. Yeah, thrombo for stuff is a way forward. However, now I need to get rid of this stuff. I'm sure he likes his excellent one, but I want him to put on the other one. Ah, it's forced. That's probably the problem. You can take it off, John. Enforce. Oh yeah, you can take your trousers off as well. 
There we go, just just put it all on display, John. Uh, pants, non... I uh, wish I could just get rid of all this tainted stuff here. Um, there we go, heavy fur pants, get rid of those. Nobody needs them. Same with the hyperweave pants, I don't even know where they came from, and definitely plain leather pants. Where is all, where is all this stuff coming from? Be gone with it. Can't you uh, filter by tainted in the categories button? Don't know. Not that I can tell here. Category, hit points, mass, quality, category, market value, name. No. Nothing for tainted, sadly. I bet it's all showing up here because I have all this tainted garbage here, right? Let's just delete that zone and forbid everything here. Now it should stop showing up with a big list of my tainted garbage. Should, one can hope. I re recommend the Recycle Apparel. You have a bill specifically to recycle all tainted clothes. No, that's overpowered. You'd get all the main, you don't get all these ingredients you want out of uh, out of clothes. I think that is far too overpowered. Right, let's get this thrumbo meat out of here. Let's get all this crummy meat out of here before it goes off. The thrombos are all carved up. I got their horns and their skin is not exactly plentiful right now but we've turned them into some very good clothes for us. Spare button down shirts can get rid of the oh yeah I should also throw in these um, throw in these shirts that are already worn one oh don't tell me I cancelled the load no nope, still to be loaded good reload this with those old crummy clothes again tainted tainted oh man why are these showing up where even are these This is too hard to see what this, uh... Oh. Yeah, that's a shame. Did you try the Bill Radius mod? I saw you message me there, Von Dougal, so it was kind of like in one ear and out the other at the time. What am I even looking at here? I lost my own train of thought. Ah, forget it. That's it. I should be looking for my button-down shirts that way. Reload, item, button-down shirt. And again, hard to tell what's tainted and what's not in this list. Look at all the rubbish that I have. I guess it's all... Oh yeah, of course, I could look by price to tell what's tainted and not. And then I want the ones that are worn. Hyperweave is very, very good for a uh, t-shirt, uh, for a button-down t-shirt. In fact, it's more protective than the thrombo fur. But too bad, I'm getting rid of it. I want uniformity here. And there's our Imperial Trader friend. I am convinced now that it's not using any custom names for the Imperials. Which makes sense, they have certain kinds of Byzantine-sounding names for them. Just assuming they're Byzantine-like. Mm, not interested in any of that stuff. Nor that stuff. Let's hope the last one's a good one. Armor skin... Uh, I should probably give health armor skin, given how naked he is. Otherwise, though, that's a, a real disappointing batch. I'm also going to throw in this black vest. Although, which one? <laughs> Probably that one. There we go. That'll be the one that Lona took off earlier, I'm pretty sure. So, with all that done, I now want Meowzilla to be making our own flak vest, because I'm fairly confident they're going to be a better qu uh, quality. Steel, cloth, and components, and a lot of work needed. But only Meowzilla will do it. Five of them. Who would be putting them on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, yeah, five. Oh, and hopefully they're all of good or better quality. Excellent or better would be even better. And these will be vests that people put on when it's really time for war. I don't want them wearing it normally because it slows them down and it degrades them. Lone, so, are you going to get on digging that at some point? No, you're busy training. I don't blame you on that one. We certainly have animals to train. I need a new, a new wave of calves or a new wave of animals to help us out here. Let's take them all off of that. A lot of the old guard got very injured. Okay, I can actually make myself some friends here. I'm thinking the nudist tribe. I've been ignoring the, the, the nudie people for a long time. But what I can do is, well, find where they are actually. Who are the nude people? The Toy Treaty. Toy. Is that the closest Toy Treaty? Seems pretty close. 187. I mean, that's overkill, but this stuff's got to go somewhere. So let's get ourselves some friends with the naked people. And there's... I could I could repair, repair relations with the Kanga people. Where are the Kanga people again? Yeah, on you go. This stuff's just taking up space. Away it goes. It's not like they're going to use those as weapons against me. There we go. Now Miozilla gets to work on this flak vest, working at his tremendous speed. Ah, it doesn't let me go and raid them anymore. So it's only showing up uh, people in the world who are enemies of mine or could be enemies of mine. Very cool. Why not send the tainted stuff to get rid of it? It's, it's a hassle. You drag them back one at a time. It's a real pain to do. I wonder if they're showing up because they're inside my home area. That would make a bit of sense. Hey John, would you mind going and chatting with these folks once you're... Oh, well, ooh, there's still pretty much all the work to be done on that. Okay. Where's the, where's the trader here? There you are. Go and trade with them, see what can be done. This bison meat's just going to rot away here. Just leave it be, so I don't care too much about it. Now... Frankly, I'd like all their silver, so I'm very happy to send these guys some flake. But what do they have for me? over this. They don't really have much for me. I want one of these armor skin glands for health. It slows them down a bit more, which is also bad. But the idea of health being so vulnerable in his human skin is uh, bad for me, so too bad. Otherwise, psychic reading and sensitizers do not appeal to me. Ah! Ah! I can give them this armor that's burning a hole in my pocket. Unfortunately, the armor is very valuable, so... Hmm, what am I meant to do about that then? I guess I could bring back some more armor skin gland. I could make other people a bit more durable, like Voomer and such. I don't like the slowdown, but it might be better than the alternative. I could take all their steel, I suppose. One always needs steel. Hmm. Feel a little low on components, let's take those. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff is not particularly appealing. Altex shirts might seem nice, but um, but no, I'd rather wear my nice formal thrombo fur shirt. I can stuff I want to get rid of here, but they don't even have gold for me. What a what a disappointment. I think Boomer wants a nice beret, so I'll have to do that for Boomer. Oh well, off you trot. Give me the money. I don't care for paying over the odds there. Let's do it anyway. I can give them some more as a gift, but I will I will not do that. The tech print for cataphrac armor is a waste of time. I'm never going to make any tech uh, cataphrac armor. 
I need a fabricator for it, and there's no way we're getting to that level. There we go. Ooh, ooh, I do not want my lances being chucked into here. I want my lances just to be kept in these weapons lockers. Storage. Lance. No, no. I doubt they're kept in here. No, no. Here. Lance. Yes, yes, good. Keep all my weapons in one, well, a few set places. Could carry 150, 50. Hmm, I wonder why the wep the capacity of these two are bigger than this one. They're both... Oh wait, weapons cabinet and weapons locker? Is there a difference? I guess there is. Oh well. Not a big deal. That's barely a deal at all. Alright, this place is for chem fuel and nothing but. Infinite chem fuel reactor sounds good, but it's, I think it's a waste of time. Actually, I don't think it needs time, so it's a great thing. I just never find the find the use for it. I never did install that aesthetic shaper. Voomer's going under to get some... Um, well, to get a bunch of things. I think I'll give Voomer a nice eye on top of that. But Voomer, you are going to get one nice Arcotech eye and an armor skin gland. Wait, is armor skin different from tough skin? Ooh, ooh, I don't like this one actually. I do not like armor skin. It makes the whole body and face ugly. Ah. Well, I might still give that to health, but it's going to slow him down even more than these jewel field hands. Well, more on top of that. Ah, put them in an already ugly dude. Actually, I should put them on someone who's already together with somebody, like health. I don't know, I should have remembered it's tough skin, not armor skin that's good. Still, you should get an architect eye, and... If you're going under, we'll give you an aesthetic body as well. It's only fair. Is this thing never going to be made, Meowzilla? Ah, there needs to be a path to get to it. Very well then, let's have these two bits mined out when Lona can, please. Lona's awfully busy with a bunch of other stuff, so I understand that that doesn't get done, but please do it anyway. Beauty effects social in general. Jacob will cause more fights and rivalries. Yeah, I know, I know. I made a mistake there. Good job, Lona. She only has one drill arm now. She is not quite as fast as she was. Still, one arm is plenty. And when I do get back out to finding that jade, if I ever get around to doing that again, she'll take care of that in no time. Now, John, art is your passion. Get on with it. And one of my passions is having this here. This is a tiny little shelf, and the only thing I want this thing to hold are uh, the mortar shells, specifically the high explosive shells, and then there's something this mortar can have. Uh, we did make the jade statue, and we put it down here to make this place more beautiful to look at. It doesn't have quite as much beauty as I'd like. There's more beauty to be had over here next to these other two, but hey, we'll see how this one turns out. Don't need beauty if everyone's stoned all the time. No, you, you very need beauty. You very much do need beauty. Soon we're going to have too much corn again. Familiar problem to have, but far from the worst. Right, Meowzil is keeping busy making this flax stuff. Good, they're excellent. That means they're giving 130% armor instead of just 100% armor. The blunt uh, stuff is good as well. It's only for the torso and neck, and I guess the shoulders, but that's fine. The torso is a vital, uh, vital part of the body, as are the 
organs within the torso, so flak is going to be very helpful for that. Size up the space between the walls in front of the mortar and the shelf. A door in front of it would prevent the shelves from deteriorating on the outside. Uh, they're not outside, they're inside the shelf. Which is where I want them to be. Ooh, Tarther. Tarther doesn't know how to attack anymore. Damn, I guess Lona's got her hands full trying to train all of these animals. And it does take time. Quite a lot of time, in fact. It really is a full-time job by this point, keeping these animals in check, which gives Lona very little time to do the mining. I might actually take away your other drill arm if I get uh, your other drill arm if I get a bionic arm to replace it with. It'll speed you up, and uh, but then you won't be drilling anymore. Right, forget the meditating. I want this silver. Go and mine this out, please. Not particularly caring for your well-being here. Sorry, Lona. But I care about the colony, and you're going to go and get us that silver. At breakneck speed, go for it. Da -da 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 -da. Cold snap, right in winter. It's going to make things quite comfortable for us, I'd say. Unless it's an incredibly cold snap. <laughs> hey, Fumer. <laughs> nice of you to give that input for us. You hurl all over Lona as she does this. You'll be getting really hungry out there. But trust me, it's for the good of the colony. I was getting rid of too much of my silver in those trades earlier. Holy moly, it is negative eight degrees outside. Ah, it has never been so cold here. There is a... Ah, that was the risk. The plants are going to die in this cold. There's no way we're going to get this harvested in time. I'm more worried about the corn dying, actually. The devil strand dying. And, oh my goodness, such... Such cold. Good thing I got rid of the cold generating machine. Health, this is really rather important. I need you to get up and deal with that. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. I could order him to do this, but I think what I need to do is... You know, why even have sleep schedules anymore? It's just making people sleep. Do what you must do, everybody. If this becomes a problem, then I'll see to it. Oh god, it's dying. Get to it, health. I, I never would have imagined I'd have a minus 13 degree situation out here. Of course, you're getting hypothermic out there, because you don't have a toke on. A 2k, whatever people are calling it these days. It might actually be worth giving health a... He's a difficult man. He's a very difficult man. I could force him to put on some uh, some clothes. I don't even have a spare one for him, do I? Make one too. Make it out of... What's really good for warmth? Like, what's the best thing for warmth? Isn't Devil Strand good at uh, keeping the heat away? Insulation against cold is 20 degrees, which is still very good. Camel head is only 16. I'm not giving him thrombo fur, but if I did, it would be 34. You know, a thrombo, fur for, uh, thrombo thing for him might be good. It'll give him a lot of protection and both heat and cold insulation. And it's only 20 ingredients. Uh, the reason is that it can't be made out of thrombo. It can only be made out of wool. Mega sloth, mega sloth wool is very good for that. So Meowzilla, please make that. So thrum, uh, health here can be nice and warm. Oh my, they're all losing their skills. 
That's not good. Right, speaking of losing it, you are shivering there, man. Wear that, wear that thing on your head. And just like that, he'll be good in minus four. But it's colder than minus four out there. A lot colder. Yeah, 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 I am going to have to make you wear some actual uh, clothes, haven't I? Tell you what, go and wear some recon armor. Recon armor gives you great insulation. You'll be unhappy, but at least this is an easier thing to keep track of. There we go. Hypothermia will go away now, because he's wearing something nice and cushy. But he needs to get that stuff cut away. Don't let them detain. No matter how much warmth and food is around, they'll break out of your walls and take your entire herd with them. Uh, they're not going detain, but it's unfortunate that we're losing uh, losing these. It's just it's a lot of work for one Lona to do. Uh, I hate to say it, but Orlov might have to help out with the animals. But Orlov's busy cleaning and hauling all the time. I can't can't have Orlov be busy with that. I need another slave. Jing's health won't be happy with this. Having to wear clothes like a savage. At least the heel root's holding on. I think the heel root's a bit more hardy. Well, maybe not zero degrees. That was an unpleasant shock. And it's still still cold snappy here. I wonder what it's like living in a somewhere that's just so used to being hot that the very idea of it falling below zero degrees is cause for concern. And that would be unthinkable in Scotland or Sweden. Yeah, one poor Lona has so much work to do, I'm kind of saddened for her. I mean, it's work she loves to do, no doubt. But it's still work, and it takes a lot of time. I'm thinking of giving up on his thrumbo. We might have brought it in here, but... Chings is not doing anything for anyone, it's just eating my food. It doesn't help that these thrumbos are very hard to tame, and they lose their maintenance training very quickly. Oh, health is actually out of things to do. Of course, he can't plant right now because it's too cold to plant. Nyx, surprisingly, also out of stuff to do. Hypothermia for Orlov. Oh, that's right. We're keeping Or Orlov um, a little naked here. Mm, what to do with somebody so hypothermic? I could make them wear human clothes. I don't really want to give them recon armor here, but... Probably going to have to. That's going to replace the body strap, isn't it? Yeah, because that's outer. Mm. Orlov, you're putting that on for now. This is going to give you all sorts of thoughts about uh, revolting against me, I'm sure. But at least you are kept heavily suppressed. And we can keep the gimp suit here for you. Alright, this is good. We've gotten our excellent flak vests prepared. That two key has been made. What else was I looking for people to have? We've already got good dusters, but I could make more even better dusters. How much is it to make a duster? 80 ingredients is quite a lot. I think I'd rather have those made out of Devil Strand. Thrombofur is, uh, I mean, it's very good at what it does. But, 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 well, we don't need them right now, do we? All I'm concerned about is people having good equipment to keep them safe out there, even though I'm not giving them loads of armor. What I do want, though, is that beret for Voomer. It'll look good. Make one beret. The beret does almost nothing. No real insulation, no defense whatsoever. Does Woomer have a favorite color? It's not time for another trade adventure, because I don't have tons of things to trade. Oh, except for all that re all that armor that we have. We do have that. I wonder if John could uh, go on a bit of an adventure for that. 
Looking good there. Looking real good, Boomer. Where is it? Where is it? Machine body is complete. I asked for this. Boomer will be permanently happy. Excellent. Your favorite color is brown. Bizarre. Altar at a style. Oh, I haven't built a styling station. I haven't really been caring about what my people might be thinking about styles. Too bad for them. Still, make a beret. Make it out of Devil Strand. And we'll give that to Boomer. I'd prefer to use the ideology's colour. I'm not even sure we have a colour as an ideology. Uh, where's ideology? Here we go. No, I didn't give it a colour. I didn't really care or think about that. But we tend to go with red and white. Flesh and bone makes sense for us. This better be the best beret you've ever made me, Ozilla. give up on that. You know, Boomer, I'm going to have you help out with the animals. We desperately need them taken care of. You kind of like handling. And there's not much else for you to do unless I want you to go and find Jade, which I do, but right now we have a lot of animals to tend to. Nyx is apparently not bad with animals either. I'll give them both to that. Just to help out a bit with Lona, because Lona's really got her hands full. Right, plenty of Psychite tea to keep Nyx the Addict happy, I think. Good. And that Psychite addiction is quite small. Things are good. Things are just generally very good. Oh, here's a problem. You probably can't tame these because you need massive uh, levels to do that, which you don't have. I don't know what the minimum level... Oh, minimum handle skill 7. Okay, you don't have that. You can't help. <laughs> Only Orlov can help, actually. And Orlov is helping. Well, Voomer, I guess you are going to go and find us that jade. There's a hunk of jade there. It's a while away though, and Jing's knowing that it's so cold out here is a scary thought, although maybe it's only cold in our area. Feels bad giving Orlov that though, is the cold the cold snap's apparently still on. But I just it doesn't feel right giving our slave actual clothes, let alone armor. Harumph. Right, I need to start thinking about the Arco Nexus and going on to the next place. And for that, I suppose sending John out on a bit of an expedition would be good, but I want him to make this incredibly inspirational jade sculpture that is almost finished. There's a reasonable chance it'll be a masterwork, and, uh... And there it is, masterwork. This is some good stuff. Forget the value, I'm caring about that beauty. Anybody around this is going to have their beauty stat go out of control. The beauty around here is already like 6.2. Over here it's only about 1.0. Oh yeah, the, the ground here isn't smoothed out, so it's a bit grim to look at. That's actually impacting on the beauty quite badly. Maybe I should get around to fixing that. almost have the time for with which to do it. There you go. Takes time, but make it so. No wait, I decided I decided against this ages ago. I'm still gonna decide against it. It's a horrible, horrible waste of time. Better just have another statue plonked down for people to enjoy. Where I like, uh, there's a lot of work to be done here, but also a lot of work to be done there. I should honestly have migrated them over here so that everybody can enjoy this and have the crappy rock chunking work done over there. 
but too bad I did not. Neutral logging site. Yeah, it would be better just to pave it down with something else. Uh, I should have plenty of slate blocks to make that happen. Architect, floor, uh, slate tile. Apparently that's slightly too many of it. Oh, quite a bit. You know, I haven't been using this marble at all and I have plenty of it. How about... Ah, right, it would overwrite the things we already have. Never gets any easier, does it? Just slate it all up. And if we need more slate, I'm sure somebody can go out and grab us some slate. Ah, of course, there's bound to be plenty of slate here from all the, the chunking about our friends did. Or is it all granite? Oh, dang, it's all granite. Is this slate? Nothing but granite. There we go, slate chunks. Bit too many of them. There we go. People can haul that back, get it ground up, and we'll have our slate flooring yet. Wasn't the marble for the throne room and defensive walls? Oh, you'd never want to do defensive walls out of marble. It's not very good for it. No, I got that stuff for making uh, statues, but jade is better. I like jade. Right. How horrible do we want to be? I know the answer. The question is to you. The Fallen Imperium is 51 happiness with us. Okay. John is about to get so much honor. Well, maybe not so much honor, but a hefty amount of honor. Drink water, Jake. I've got water. I've been drinking water. I don't appreciate the, the kind of Hydrobot style things or whatever they are. Hydrate bot, that was it. <laughs> that said, although you said that, I did take a drink of water. I don't know, I think there was something insidious about Hydrate bot when that was going around. But I don't need any help taking a drink. I drink too. Well, sometimes I feel like I drink too much. I guess I drink just enough. Right, 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 right. This is going to be a little awkward, but we'll do it anyway. So, I got a lot of gold here. If I give away all that gold, John will get a staggering 28 honor. If I get rid of all our law, I'll get a bit more than that. But uh, I would quite like that 28 honor. Despite it costing all of our gold, I will do it. And that hurts a lot. Now this bastard's running around here with all of my gold. Now maybe John isn't happy about that. Maybe John would rather that uh, that guy gave the gold back. This will be tough. I need to segregate him from everybody else or else John's going to get shot to death. But if I do it like this... There we go. He's gone very angry. And now he's going to beat up his friends, and then his friends won't like that. And his friends are going to kill him. And when he goes down, and he will go down, he's going to give us all our gold back. And John's going to think, wow, that was badass. And then John is going to uh, go and take all our gold back. And these guys are going to leave the map. And now John is sitting on how much honor? 33 honor, enough to call in several strikes or labor teams or additional help. And what did that cost us? Well, using a psychic power on somebody I think reduces your relations with... Actually, we can check, can't we? Uh, reduced relations by 94. That's pretty bad, but there's worse. And I have ways of dealing with that. Actually, I'll have more ways of dealing with that if I build some new furniture for them. Well, human leather's not going anywhere anytime soon. 
So there we go, build some human leather things for them. Applauds John's ingenuity, maybe you could trade that useless labour squad permit. I don't think it's useless. It would cost uh, an uncomfortable amount of honour to reset that. But I like labour squad, so I'm keeping it. Also, they might be incapable of violent, but if I'm ever in a situation where somehow everybody is downed and I can't save us, Labor Squad could come and help, although I don't know if downed people can use their abilities. Oh, hey, Callum. How goes it? You're very dead in here, just as a reminder, not that I'm sure you need it. Oh, it just feels nice to keep on keep a hold of that gold. That's why I went out to get as much gold as possible, so that I could do that trade, and then just take it all back. And you want to just keep getting more gold to snowball it. A bit cheap, says Pepper. It was massively cheap, but I did it. And suddenly, a whole lot more beautiful around here with all the jade statues to admire. This cold snap is a bit brutal, though. If you had a nudist colony, this would uh, pose a real problem. So there we go. Meowzilla just goes and makes these things, which are sure to make the other guys feel a bit better about us. We'll get them uninstalled and then packed up. Ah, Jane, this is nice. I can just somewhat relax now. We'll set this to be full of... What are they called again? Bedrolls? I should have been using this filter all this time. How did I not notice it? I don't think six double ones will be enough. Maybe I could make some more out of heavy fur. This is my apology gift. Oh, it's pretty good. 121. 121 minus 43. Should be enough. Wait, I'm sure there's a better way to calculate it. But I won't need to. Off you trot. Human leather diplomacy. It's very good in the game. Six human bedrolls is worth more than turning a tribute collector berserk. Yes, it is. This is why I think diplomacy is the strongest thing in the game. At least for the way I play. I don't like making big armies and I don't like making kill boxes. But Diplomacy, you get a lot of people that can die for you, and then you can use Ingenuity to uh, to keep them that way. Sorry about the psychic prank. Have some human skin bedrolls, we good? Yeah, okay, but don't do it again. Sorry you're breaking up. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> this poor bastard. Didn't deserve it, but he got it. Right, I think it is a good idea to go out and do a bit more John shopping. The thing is, it's probably going to be a bit heavy, but let's just see what we can do here. Uh, I want to trade... Oh, I should check to see if they actually... Wait, where'd all my recon armor go? Didn't I have considerably more of it? Maybe I shot it away, or... Don't tell me I accidentally smelted my recon armor. No, no, I'm only smelting the clean stuff. That would be concerning, though. Yeah, two of them are being worn, and I certainly don't want them being worn, but I feel like I had more recon. Maybe it was listing all the, all the nasty recon armor I had. If I were to launch you with... Recon. Yeah, it's just the recon helmets showing up now. Hmm. Oh, right. Sort by market value first. Wait, that's a... What a weird way to sort it by. Looking at the good stuff that I have. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they'll buy marine armor and that robe. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? What will we buy? And yet they don't put the search thing here, but at least they put it in alphabetical order. Uh, marine armor. Okay, so I can send John out with the marine armor, the drugs, the robe, 
What else do we have? High value stuff to send them out with. Shame about those glands. I don't really want to use them now. Wonder if they'll buy a plan. Oh, weapons aren't worth much to sell though. Everybody likes thrombo horns. Yeah, I could send thrombo horns as well. I hope they'll send me some some animals to bring back though. I gotta remember that. Uh, we need a way to bring it all back. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, that's actually going to be a problem however you look at it, isn't it? Funny, I don't remember that being... Mm, could send him with an elephant to carry things back. But elephants are heavy. Could launch a... Oh, oh, oh yeah, they need to be connected, don't they? That's a shame. What if I send you with a baby elephant? Can they carry a bunch of stuff? Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to send you with the elephant, would I? And there's no guarantee they're going to sell me pack animals again. I got off lucky with that. Alternatively, we could go and mine that jade and go and deal with you in person, but I don't know, this whole shopping trip idea... It's starting to feel a little dangerous. If they don't have anything that I want to buy here. Now, nah, better to invite them over, then I don't have to worry about such trivialties. Trivialties? Such trivial matters. That said, though, we are well within the wealth category for selling off for the Arco Nexus ending. We have been since day 220. It's just a question of how I go about that. And that's not something that I've gotten the answer for yet, but I will get the answer. I am certain there is a way to pack up my wealth with me and take it with me over to the next place. Because I honestly am yeah, not that interested in building up another base just to sell it again. I want to do the next two bits very quickly and then set up a, a nicer base and see whatever this Arco thing is about. But... I don't have a method of taking it with me. I had it, but it got patched out not too long ago. So I still need to suss that one out. Do you know if you get to keep some Lucy after the Archonexus thing? Okay, that I don't know, but probably not. I think it strips away all the things in your inventory, but I'm not sure. I need to check that. I haven't even seen how they handle it. It would be awful, though. Imagine that. Here's the guy you keep. He's got a Lucy addiction, and there's no Lucy, and you've got five days whilst you're stripped naked to go and deal with it. Not naked, but you lose all this stuff. So it needs to be figured out. You can no longer take stuff with you and the animals are taking yeah, I believe not. That's something I'm going to investigate, but as soon as I have an answer to that, that's how I'm going to uh, tackle the situation. Of course, 350,000 is still a lot of wealth. I doubt I could pack up that from this space because it, invol it involves everything. It's the walls, it's the floors, it's all the animals, and I only get to take five of those. And they should almost certainly be our beloved... Um, oh, well, probably three... Mm -hmm. Three of the thrombos, including pregnant ones, plus two breeding elephants. Preferably a pregnant one as well, is what I'd be best to bring away with me. Wonders if you get Yeah, Voomer. I'm investigating. I am most certainly investigating. There we go. Alright, things are really quietening down here, and in the interest of actually having some of my day off spent with myself. I'm going to call it there on today's episode, which shouldn't have happened today. It's just because I wanted to play the game today. The next episode, I am going to start off the Arc Nexus stuff, hopefully having found a solution to the game's uh, desires to make you just New Game Plus several times. I don't get it. I understand that this is a cool thing to do for the quest, right? Build up a place to quite a high wealth. That is quite a bit of wealth. My base not, may not look huge, but it is dense with wealth. There's a lot of gold hanging around here, there's some nice statues, there's a lot of Devil Strand around here. And a lot of it is packed into these characters. Uh, Illustration, for example, is a walking whole load of mechs, which makes him himself worth $11,000. But I don't know why they really thought it would be fun to do this three times. 
building up a base just to get rid of it all is a bit of a blur thing, so doing it once is okay, but more than that, I don't know. Which is why I'm trying to find a, work, a workaround. And I will find a workaround, because that's what I do. Still, that'll be for next episode, which I believe is on Wednesday. So until we're back from that, it's a cheers from me, and a cheerio.